Here we are. Oh man, welcome back. My stomach is full of sushi and I am ready to play this game again. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for uh, the sushi fun. That was amazing. Uh, it was really good. So shout out to all of you guys who have uh, helped out with that. You guys are absolutely mm, four rolls of sushi right in my belly. Oh, so good. Shrimp tempura rolls, absolutely my favorite. Anything with shrimp tempura in it is just amazing. So thanks so much for coming. Welcome back to even more <clears throat> Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. The game is great. We're looking really good. All right, well, great to see you guys. Thanks so much for coming. Woo! Ooh, don't even mention the words California roll, Charlotte. Oh, gross. That's a baby roll. Yo, you gotta level up. You gotta ascend past California rolls, man. <laughs> but that's okay. It's, it's, it's safe, right? It's a safe roll. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Good to see you. What's new and exciting? What, did you guys get some dinner? What did you all have? Talk to me right now. Tell me about everything you've had for dinner and let's talk about it. Uh, we got a lot of work to do, but and anyway, <clears throat> Billy B36, you gotta eat sushi. It's my favorite food in the world. Definitely out there. Um, good to see you guys. What's up, Panda Pop? Good to see you. Uh, what's up, Lainey in the house? Andrew, Lainey, did you even get any sleep? What's the deal? What's going on here? Hello, KH. What's going on? Hey, Alana. What's up? Good to see you, King Law. Hello. Princess Luca, get some food if you didn't eat yet. We're going to be here for another two and a half hours of uh, just kind of straight seeing what's happening here. I did have another coffee, but my eyes are still a little tired. I don't know. I didn't get much sleep considering I had to wake up at like five in the morning to get ready for this. But anyway, we're good. We are absolutely good. Maybe I should put on my glasses. I don't know. Is that going to help? These lights are bright, man. <laughs> I could totally go for a nap after this. I could totally go for a nap. But anyway, it's a fun time, and it's great to see all of you guys. Um, yeah, good to see you. Uh, Annabella, hello, what's up, Joanna? Hey, Jenna, what's up, Mighty Eagle? What's up, Christy? Good to see you, Timothy Hung. What's up, Ray? Deanna, good to see all of you. Thanks for hanging out. Let's go do some work. The glasses? Do the glasses get put on during this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll wear the glasses today. It should be good. Anyway, I don't even know where we're going, to be honest. Um, we didn't even explore Veilstone City, like, at all. So let's do that. And then we have to find out, like, okay, well, what else are we doing? How are we going to fly? How are we going to get to the different places? Anyway, you guys are great. Thanks for sharing the live stream, by the way. I'll take one quick moment to share it as well which is all a fun game. I don't know if this is gonna be the last one tonight, but um, yeah, let's uh, get our fourth gym badge in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Don't miss this, boom. Yeah, do me a favor, do a, a quick retweet on that, and then we're gonna we're gonna hit our way out. It's gonna be so good, so good. All right, Sherry, what's up? Good to see you, good to see Albedo, what's going on? Lady in the house, Odyssey, hello. All right, you guys ready? Okay, that's enough introductions. I think we're ready to go. Show the live stream, let's get it going. Joker, what's going on? All right, <clears throat> we are ready. Mm-hmm. Welcome back. It's Abdallah here with even more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We are back with another episode. We haven't explored Veilstone City at all yet, so I'm excited to actually look around and see what's going on with the department store, with all the little houses. Let's see what we can get. We've been earning a lot of money ever since we found our amulet coin, so I'm very excited about that. Dawn is gonna go uh, try to get her Pokedex back, but until then, we'll have to see. Here's Veilstone City, wow, look at that. Home from Rock, hello. Business at the new style shop has really been booming. Cool. What's this? Bellstone is a city of stone. We even have meteorites. Oh, cool. Did not know that. Maylene is Bellstone's gym leader. Uh, Wake is the gym leader in Pastoria. Then there's Fantina and Hart Home. They're all way too tough. I can't even come close to them. That's probably true. 
I bought a new parasol, but I don't want to, to get rained on, so I watch TV weather reports. You bought a parasol, but you don't want it to get rained on. Tell me the... Tell me what that, that's all about. Amit says that Mount Coronet parted Sinnoh into halves. Seeing the Pokemon Shellos makes me think that maybe the myth is real. East Shellos and West Shellos? Whoa, could be. If there are people who desire to see them, Pokemon will appear in many different guises. Okay. Interesting. East and West. Hello, you two. Team Galactic's building bugs me. I can't sleep with it looming over me. Those thorny things on the building, are they supposed to be fashionable? I'm trying to understand how this person has just a front room in their house and no bedroom or a bathroom or anything like that. You ever look at that and wonder? There's no side rooms. All right, hey, what's up? I made stickers modeled after the Pokemon of a trainer I met. Would you like some? Yeah, sure, cool. Flora sticker is great. Place them on ball capsules, they'll impress the audience. All right, what are we buying? What are we buying? Ooh, we can buy some hyper potions? Yes, please, I'll take five. That's great, a hyper potion's amazing. Uh, I do have plenty of revives. Uh, a full heal is pretty good. An ice, fe ice heal? Yeah, I'll take like three of them. You never know if you're gonna get frozen ever, I guess, better safe than sorry. I think we have plenty of things for that. Hello. All right, what else are we buying? Oh yeah, Ultra Balls are unlocked now. This is great. I'll take 10 Ultra Balls, please, for 12,000. We make so much money. That's right. And one Premier Ball on the house, absolutely. Uh, escape Rope are good, Polka Doll we don't need. Uh, I'll take some Max Repels, I'll take 10 of those. That's for 7,000, thank you so much. We do have to spend our, our money because it doesn't make sense to hold on to money in this game. Like you should absolutely spend it. Unless you're like gonna be aiming for like a crown or something like that, which I hope is in the game. I like the formal air of a luxury department store. Yeah, me too. Thank you for the ultra balls. That was really cool. All right, welcome to the department store. Hello, that's right. Ooh, they look after you after you become a regular customer. All right. Hello you, bug boy. You're gonna give an HP up to your Krigatot? Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so this is where they sell the Pokemon Vitamins. Uh, the Counter app, okay. This is the Counter app. I use the Counter app whenever I was EV training Pokemon. Um, that's cool. Welcome, may I help you? Oh, dang, that's a lot of money. Uh, okay, so it's very expensive to buy those Vitamins. I'm not gonna be buying any Vitamins right now, but that's really cool that we have access to them right now because that will be helpful with EV training our Pokemon. All right, really excited. Here's some X speed, X attack stuff. Honestly, I don't need that right now. That's really good to know that they sell that there though. Where can I find a dress that looks great in a super contest show? You're asking the wrong person. All right, I'm out, see you later. That's cool. So we have the, the vitamins, we've got the battle items. There's a lot happening. These are probably like the TMs. Yeah, okay, low sweep, bulldoze, U-turn is amazing. False swipe. I'll buy a false swipe. You never know who's going to use it on my team. I have no idea who. Rest, protect, safeguard, reflect, light screen. Light screen and reflect is really good. I love that so much. Swords dance, oh my gosh. I need all of these, to be honest. I really want to buy them all. But uh, I'm not going to be wasting any time with TMs that only work one time. Get out of here. Oh, 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 oh! It's our egg! Predictions, quickly, quickly! It's a happening. Boo, I want a Togepi. Hi, happening. Nice to meet you. It carries around an egg-shaped an egg -shaped rock in its belly pouch and gives the rock to its friend. Okay. Cool. Why do I care about a happiny? Get out of here with that. That's a level one happiny? I mean, I guess that's cool. Serene Grace is great. Like, I love happiny. <laughs> Eats anything. Yeah, me too, buddy. 
All right, so we hatched the Happiny. That's great. Congratulations. You're a really, really cool Pokemon. I'm glad to have you, but I have no room for you. Uh, I guess I'm using this Kadabra. I don't really want to, but he's he's part of the team. He's very strong, so we're going to use him. <laughs> I'm not going to use him anytime soon, but uh, anyway, we're good. Uh, all right, so what do we have over here? Hey, what are we buying? Ooh, more TMs. Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, Focus Blast, Flamethrower, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam. I need an Ice Beam. I love Ice Beam. That's on. I need an Ice type Pokemon. Solar Beam, Psychic, Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam is pretty cool. I should be. I, I should take a Dazzling Gleam. Thank you very much. Gyro Ball, Giga Impact, Hyper Beam. I like Dazzling. I like Psychic. I also like all of these ones. Thunderbolt is really good. These are really good TMs. Honestly, they are. Flamethrower is really good. All right. Anyway. Um, I gotta see, I think Kadabra can learn Dazzling Gleam, but I don't know. I would give it to him, but I'm kind of hesitant because he's not listening to me, like, at all. Uh, let me see, let me see Dazzling Gleam really quick. <clears throat> yeah, so it totally can. Uh, yeah, so you can learn Dazzling Gleam. This is a, is a wonderful move to put on your Kadabra, uh, which is great. False Swipe. Swablu is the only one that learns False Swipe on my entire team right now, uh, which is good. I mean, getting Paralysis on, on a Pokemon is great, but it's not ideal. Shockwave? Wow, that's kind of cool, but... I mean, Kadabra can even learn Shockwave. That's awesome. Wow, Roost, Strength. Yeah, I've got, I've got, some, I got some moves here. I definitely have some moves here. All right, anyway, uh, that's great. So we can buy some TMs. I love TM, so I come here to Window Shop all the time. Yes, you do. A uh, friend traded me a Machoke using the communication feature, but instead of Machoke, I got a different Pokemon. That reminds me, um, way back in the day, it's like there was like a little block of text that said, oh, the Pokemon you traded me went and evolved, right? Even though a Pokemon couldn't evolve, whatever it was. Square Pedestal? I don't care about any of these. No thanks. This is like adventure, adventure time stuff, like great, Underground adventure. No thanks. And even more pedestals. I'm good. I'll maybe mess around with that at another time. But I, I don't really need that right now. That boy doesn't have any Pokemon, but he says he's training uh, his image. If you counter wild Pokemon, chug a quick ball right off the bat. If it's taking a long time to catch, use a timer ball. Okay. That's good. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. I could use some quick balls. Hello, kid. Oh, I'll grab a... Uh, drink. Yeah, look at these two. Two buff guys standing side by side, that's all. Ah, young Pokemon trainer. Uh, as a senior in your life, let me gift you this sticky bar. Was that, plus for poison types? Held item. Oh, uh, if you're hit with a physical move, the sticky bar sticks to the opposing Pokemon and inflicts damage. I mean, I guess that's fine. You're never really going to use that. Uh, but you can buy some lemonades. You can buy a couple lemonades for 350, which recovers how much? I don't know. I always used to buy a lot of lemonade because it was like right in the middle. You weren't thirsty anyway. So that's kind of fun. You buy a little lemonade. Uh, lemonade, let's see. So potion does 20. Super potion. Let me sort these really quick. Sort by type, man. Yeah, lemonade is 70. So it was kind of like right in between a super potion. It was a little bit better than a super potion. Not that great anymore, but anyway. So that's the department store. You guys can absolutely get a whole bunch of TMs over there, like Dazzling Gleam for your Kadabra. And electric moves for your Kadabra too. Like how crazy is that? I should have bought a Thunderbolt. Because Kadabra can like have all those typings and we wouldn't even need Luxray. Oof, anyway. Okay, so that's the mall. There's some meteorites over there. Oh, that's the other building. We don't need to mess around with that. Yo, giraffe rig? Oh, that's cool. Tick tock, tick tock. Okay. Uh huh. A metronome. Uh, I don't know what that item does. It's like a hold item that does something. I don't know. Never really messed around with it. A mysterious meteorite fell from the stars. Wow. How is that possible? 
Oh, dang. Yeah, the TM that teaches fly is in the warehouse. Ooh, we have to go get it. All right, so the one area that we didn't go to were these houses here. So let's take a look. Hello. Oh, looking a little tired? Oh, not you. I mean your Pokemon. Uh, if you'd like, I can give a massage to that Pokemon. Yeah, sure. Give me a massage. Who needs a little love? Yeah, give my friend a little love. There we go. Cool. <laughs> While I was massaging your Pokemon, I found a sticker. So every day, you can come over here and get a massage. That's cool. And I want to say the massage boosts your Pokemon's happiness stat. Maybe. I don't know. There's a clown. Wow. Uh, there are many magicians in the world. You know, performing artists. Uh, don't you think? Uh, maybe say 5% are actually psychics. I don't know about that. Have I been to the gym? Yes, I have. That's cool that there's a clown and another dude just chilling in a room together, right? Alright. Not that there's anything wrong with that, dude. You could be a clown all you want if you want to. Alright, so I think it's about time that we go win uh, Dawn's Pokedex back. So let's go into this warehouse and beat him up. Uh, now you brought your buddy along so you can get your Pokedex back. We'll just... Uh, we'll be just as happy to send both of you crying home to your mommies. Um, hello? Hi, can you please help me? I dropped my Pokedex by accident and Team Galactic found it. Now they won't give it back. Team up and battle with me. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Our dream team has no chance. So I'm not letting Team Galactic get away with this. This is fine. Cool. Beautifly and Dust Tox? Alright. We got this. We got this. Come on, Clefairy! Yo, are you gonna match? Don't metronome. Whatever you do. Not in a doubles battle. Do not do that. Flame Wheel is just too good. Six hundred and eighty-one. Okay. And 28 on Swablu. Uh, Swablu wants to learn Sing? I mean, I'm okay with that. If you can learn False Swipe and Sing... That's decent. I mean, okay, Sing is terrible in accuracy. I'll give it that. But if I can learn both those moves, put them to sleep, and False Swipe them along the way, that's gonna be really great and helpful in the future. Especially when we're out here trying to get... Um, when we're trying to get the legendary Pokemon. Well, that was nice of you, Clefairy. Do I get some of that too? Thank you. Wow, that air cutter move was really powerful. All right, here we go, Flame Wheel. Done, Beautiful Light, done. Oh, I've got combat animations on. Yeah, let's turn those off. Every time after I beat a gym leader. Vino shock. Whoa, easy, easy. Yo, ouch, buddy. Chill. Disarming voice. All right, you got Stunky over here. Mm, yeah, I don't really like Stunky. Uh, I'll get rid of. I'll get rid of Stunky really quick. Done. These galactic grunts have no chance. Vino Shock. Oh, wow, that's super effective, isn't it? Yo, ouch, Clefairy. Alright, I'm gonna go Flame Wheel. All right, monkey, get this thing out of here. We are done. I did like teaming up with uh, with Dawn over here. It's uh, it's the first time that we've actually teamed up with her, so that's great. Done in by two kids. This isn't right. Uh, I should have kept my head down and just watched our warehouse. Uh, yeah, yeah, you should have. For sure. Oh, thanks. Our Pokemon are weak. We should get new ones from the headquarters. Oh, who cares about some Pokedex, anyways? Team Galactic is going to own all the Pokemon in the world. No, in the universe. There, take it. Take your Pokedex. 
Those things we had in the warehouse have already been moved to Pastoria City anyway. So we'll say you'll get yours and run like the grunts we are. They moved what to Pastoria City? Hello? What's going on? Why is Team Galactic out in the streets like they own the place? Abdallah, thank you sincerely. If Professor Roan ever finds out that I lost my Pokedex, ugh, I don't want to think about it. So Abdallah, what are you going to do now? I'm thinking of going to Pastoria City. The Great Marsh there is home to many kinds of Pokemon. Yeah, I'll meet you over there. I got some unfinished business to do inside this building here. So let's take a look and see what we can find. Oh, that's really all I needed. I needed the ability to fly. Okay, great. Fly is a hidden in the Hidden Moves app allows you to travel instantly to towns you visited before. That's great. Whoa, 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 what do we have here? You're not Team Galactic, you're a little kid to boot. Uh, those things we made with the energy we took from the Valley Windworks are already in Pastoria City. Oh, uh, that's not what this is about? Okay, well, I don't have this special key to open that up. I don't know, honestly, what uh, what is going to happen now. I mean, we got her Pokedex back, which is good. But, uh, yeah, as of right now... As of, Okay, Manaphy Egg? That quick? Hi! That's fun! Cool! Oh, uh, let's not give it a nickname, but... Hey, hey! Where's my Pokedex entry for Manaphy? Why didn't that come up? What is going on? Um, what was that? Okay, so Manaphy... Hello, nice to meet you. Water type Pokemon, bold Manaphy is amazing, by the way. We got really lucky with that. Uh, Tail Glow Water Gun, very nice. All right, so this is a mythical Pokemon. Yeah, this is our third mythical that we have. I'm not gonna do anything with it. We are going to move to the next box. There we go, boom, Manaphy, done. And while I have you, let's take Mew. Alright, I'm gonna take Mew, we're gonna put Mew- oh gosh, that was not what I wanted to do. I wanna just sort Manaphy over this way. I wanna put all of my cool little mythicals right in this spot. Yay, Jirachi, yay. Perfect, look at that! One, two, and three! Level one Mew, level five Jirachi, wow, cool. Uh, okay, so that means that we have one spot in our Pokemon uh, team right now that we can honestly start uh, leveling up, right? We can start leveling up some Pokemon. Um, honestly, Happening would be really cool to kind of level up and get a Chansey. Uh, Goldeen would too. I'm just gonna throw Ghastly over here, because Ghastly is kind of cool to have. And then I don't necessarily need Magby either. Like, Magby, doesn't that thing evolve with, like, friendship or something? Honestly, I couldn't tell ya. Uh, but we could also bring our Bronzor back, so... Yeah, things are looking alright. We're just honestly keeping them in our team because we just need the experience for them. That's all. Okay, super fun. We helped out Dawn. Awesome. We beat up those Team Rocket Galactic Grunts. Uh, we have not gone inside here yet. This is the Galactic Veilstone building. We dream of the universe. Yeah, we haven't gone inside here. <clears throat> I don't know if there's anything for us to do inside here. Besides warping around? Oh, gosh. Do I want to know? Hello, this is Team Galactic Headqu- I'm sorry, this is Team Galactic Veilstone Building. Cosmic energy for the win. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could harness the boundless energy? Yeah, it would. We, Team Galactic, will take everything that can be taken. We will eliminate everything that is not needed. That's Team Galactic's policy. Okay. Uh, yeah, great. You're too young for us. You can join us when you're older. Okay, so there was one room in which I can teleport, and that's going to be right over here. Let's actually teleport and see if there's anything to do in the Team Galactic building. If not, we're going to just continue on. Okay, maybe not. Excellent. More, the more the merrier. Let's get out of here. So nothing's happening in that building. Let's uh, let's actually see where we need to go. This one says, uh, visit beautiful Lake Valor, right off 214. All right, let's explore. 
Hello. Who are you? Are you gonna take 214? Yeah, it's chewed up. There's nothing to see there. Well, I guess that Ruin Maniac guy can check it out. He's digging away through the bedrock all by himself. What does that mean? All right, 214. Hello. Hi, nice to meet you. Look out behind you. What is it? Dude, I don't know. It's a psychic. Cool. Abigail. Ghastly. Oh, gosh. Ghastly. Nice to meet you, Ghastly. Okay, here we go. Flame wheel. Dunzo. Boom. Goodbye. Okay, Ghastly level 25. Awesome. Kadabra? Oh my gosh, this is going to be a piece of cake. Kadabra is typically known for such high special attack stat and such low physical defensive stat. So honestly, if you can outspeed it and hit it with a physical attack, it's done. Our Bronzor is leveling up. Good to know. Uh, Mischievous? No, we're good, man. Boom. What did he just do? Oh, did it do something? Oh, we still have combat animations on, man. Get out of here. Easy peasy. Sorry. You're done. 2,000 bucks. Alright, let's turn off these animations so that we can continue on with this game. Oh my gosh! Ghastly, you're evolving already? Perfect. What does Ghastly evolve into, huh? Of course we know Haunter. Give me those Voltorb eyes. Alright, that's just more Pokemon for the Pokedex. I'm not going to use Ghastly or Haunter. I mean, they're great Pokemon. Uh, it licks with its gaseous tongue to steal its victim's life force. It lurks in darkness, waiting for prey. Uh-huh, you want to learn Shadow Punch? Honestly, you're not going to learn Shadow Punch, because it's physical. Yeah, so, goodbye. Uh, Haunter is a special attacker. So, that's great! We got ourselves a brand new Haunter. Haunter cannot evolve into Gengar unless you trade it, so I'm ready. Who's trading me this Haunter? Uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna throw... Who's going to evolve? Ponyta? Ponyta to Rapid Dash? We could do Rapid Dash. Mm, Magby? No, man, that thing's... We'll use him for, like, hatching our eggs. Uh, Meditite? Yeah, I mean, it could. It can evolve and do its thing. Skaroopy? Sure. No, maybe we'll go Meditite. Yeah, let's do Meditite. Right? Meditite can go right over here? Sure, whatever. He's just freeloading off of experience. Honestly, it doesn't even matter at this point. I don't need any Pokemon besides Monferno and our Kadabra and our Shinx. So we have three Pokemon that are really just there to destroy everything. I wish I had a water type that was really good at this point in the game. Man, I really wish. Bum -ba -da -dum. Okay, moving on. Wow, we got a lot of people that we just passed up over here. Okay, I mean, do I need to battle these guys? It wouldn't hurt. Alright, here we go. Win or lose, who knows how this will go. We're playing for keeps. Little gambler over here. Challenged by P.I. Carlos. Okay. That's kind of cool. Private investigator? Alright, let's do... Oh, you got three Pokemon? That means that I'm going to do a power-up punch really quick. Dude, combat animations! Ah! Frustrating. <laughs> Every time I go into the menu to, like, turn them off, I just don't do it. That's okay. Uh, let me do two power-up punches, and then we're just going to mock punch our way through. 
So that's what I really like about Monferno. Like, you can boost your own attack. It's like getting a an X attack at the beginning of the match. This is really good. Alright, we're not going to switch out for Goldeen. We're almost at level 36, and typically... The fire starters... Evolve around 36? Done. Sorry, Goldeen. I'm a fire type looking straight down at ya, saying come at me with whatever you got. Punching these goldfish. Goodbye. Alright, cool. Metatite is growing up. What uh, level does Metatite evolve at? Any of you guys know? I'm curious. Uh, I guess wrong too often. Dude, 6,000 bucks is no joke. I'm taking it. Alright, here we go. Options. Combat animations. Off. Ah, oh, what? You do. You have a Pokedex. Okay, challenge by Collector Brady. Oh, look at this. It's Ponyta. 37 for Metacham? Oh, that's, that's too late, man. I don't think I want to commit to that. <laughs> I think I definitely don't want to commit to leveling this guy up to 37. Not at all. But, uh, thanks for looking that up. I do not want to commit to 37 levels for a Pokemon that I'm not even going to care about. He's not even worth it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. We are going to get rid of Confusion, and we're going to learn Psychic right now. Dude, he's got his, his strongest Psychic attack. Psychic, Psy Shock. I can give him Dazzling Gleam. Recover? Seems like a little worthless. Oh my gosh, Bronzor, you can learn Hypnosis? Oh, this is beautiful. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm ever going to use Payday or Payback. Special attack is 20. Your attack is 17. Dude, you're very bad at attacking. Um, I mean, I guess I'm going to go Confuser. I like Confuse Ray versus Payback. Ah, this is a tough one. I think I'm gonna get rid of... My only dark type attack. Yeah, you know what? I'm getting rid of Confuse Ray. Goodbye. Alright, Bronzor. You gotta get good, man. I'm counting on ya. Here we go, here we go. Payback's a good move, man. Especially with a slow Pokemon like, um, like Bronzor. Since he's so slow, he's automatically going to hit Payback. So it'll 100% be double the power. And it's a Dark type move. Why not? That's a good one, man. Alright, I'm not going to use Fane to like, get that out of here. Alright, what am I doing? Continue on. Ponyta. Payback is good for slow Pokemon. If you're like a fast Pokemon that is like a dark type, that's not good. But for Bronzor, he's good. Okay, Monferno wants to learn close combat. This is where things get a little tough. We get something called four move slot syndrome, where I absolutely want close combat. Uh, so I guess what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to get rid of Mach Punch in lieu of close combat. It's his strongest fighting move, so I'm going for it. It's not the best move, but I'm taking it. And you know what that means at level 36, right? Oh, you're ready. Are you ready? I, I don't know if you're ready. Just in time, man. Whoa, shiny Infernape's friend, Monferno Infernape. <laughs> it kind of looked shiny for a second there, did it? 
Okay, uh, its crown of fire is indicative of its fiery nature. It is beaten by none in terms of quickness. Oh, is that right? Are you the fastest Pokemon in existence? No, you're not. Who's the fastest Pokemon in existence? Deoxys Speed? I don't know, man, but this is this is a long way forward. Uh, this is a really long way forward in order to get to this next town. We're gonna go straight over here towards Pastoria City, but this entire beach is just like so, so long. What did we do? We went shopping? We beat the grunts? Dude, there's a lot happening. All right, let's let's uh, let's go through here as fast as we can. I don't really need these clowns. That's right, see ya. Oh gosh, don't look at me. I kinda wanna go get that item. Uh, you know what, I don't need to be on a bike right now. Let's, let's just walk. I want this item, but I don't want these... Oh, a big root! Dude, monkey, get out of my way! I could've gotten out of here. Alright, here we go. Regieliki is the fastest Pokemon? I don't know, honestly. You you tell me. You run that... Uh, give me that speed stat. That base speed stat? Someone compare it and let me know what you come up with. Oh my gosh, um, yeah, there's a lot happening over here. I don't think that we can knock this out. Where is the... Let me sort by type. Okay, where's my max repel? Thank you so much. Let's do that. Okay, max potion, cool. So Regieliki is the fastest Pokemon? Out of all of them? Dang, dude, that's fast. Oof! No, don't talk to me. Look up. Thanks. See ya. It's like Animal Crossing. Look up. Valor Lake Front. Okay. Oh, look at these two dweebs. I don't want to deal with them. But I think we're going to have to. Well, I think this is a great um, stopping point. After I don't... After I forget... Oh, wow, they're not even... No, they're not. They're not even there. Okay, here's the little villa. This lady locked her keys out. That's, that's good. Congratulations. You locked your keys out of the villa. I just want to... Oh, gosh. I want to find the next town. And save. And quit. Yeah. Okay. Sunny Shore. Uh-huh. Okay. The road's closed. Thank you so much. Okay. Don't need to go there. Uh, this is Route 213. Is there a Pokemon Center here? These are just like... Like villas, man. No. We need to explore this area. I'm just gonna chill right here. Yeah, we're gonna chill right here. We're gonna take a quick break. Um, we still have the brand new area right by us, uh, which is going to be where Crasher Wake is. We have our Infernape, which is amazing. Like, I'm very, very happy about that. Let's take a look at Infernape stats before we uh, call it. So Infernape is looking good, firefighting uh, with the Jolly Nature. So attack stat is at 92. Compared to the rest of our team, Oh my gosh, this Luxray's attack stat is at 89. Wow, that's quite interesting. And then uh, Kadabra's is at 110. Oh my gosh, Kadabra is so good. Um, so anyway, yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of a Pokemon. We're going to go to boxes. I don't really want to commit to Meditate, honestly. He's just not there. We need some good Pokemon that can like false swipe and all that other stuff. Uh, let's bring him a chop, just so I can have him a choke ready. I mean, that's perfectly fine. We could do that. Anyway, let's take a quick breather here. We got a lot more Pokemon to beat up on the next one. Um, yeah, let's do that. And uh, I'm excited to show Crasher Wake who's boss. So let's jump into that on the next one. Good breather, man. Oh, Charlotte, what's going on? Charlotte, you're gonna be choosing Chimchar? Okay, and Turtwig and Shining Pearl? Ah, uh, that's great. Hey, I meant to ask all of you guys, which starters are you guys going to choose? Are you guys going with Chimchar? A lot of you guys going with Piplop. Based off of this, you can see that uh, Chimchar is pretty easy mode. He just breezed through the entire like first three gyms. It's so easy. Ashley, what's up? Good to see you. How are you? Hey, what's up, Danielle? Good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, a lot of you guys going Chimchar. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. And then are you guys going to like shiny hunt your starter right off the bat? 
Is that even possible? How many software sets is that going to be? What's that even take? I wouldn't even know. Yikes, man. Dang. Lanny, you were going to do Piplup, but now you're reconsidering? Honestly, you'll be able to get all the starters soon, right? You just do a little bit of trading amongst people. I got to find a Ditto, or at least find out where Ditto's located so I can start breeding my Chimchars and then, like, passing them out to everyone. So that's kind of what I would do. It'll be a good time. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for hanging out. You guys are the best. Uh, let's jump into uh, continuing, shall we? I'm excited, man. The, the day is getting late, later and later as we speak, so let's go. We will be absolutely completing the Pokemon Pokedex, for sure. I don't think I'll beat it right now, but it'll take some time to get them all. Yep, yep. All right, cool. Uh, let's go, let's go. Morgan, hey, thank you so much for watching all the content. I love it. Uh, Zelda King, which starter should you go with? Go with whatever everyone's saying. Right? Chimchar is the easiest. Because he carries the entire game. I think the hardest maybe is Turtwig. Because it's kind of like it's like a grass ground type. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but go for any one of them. It's going to be a good time. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with even more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We're continuing our trek over to Crasher Wake. Uh, so let's see what's going on. Uh, we can... Yeah, we. this guy is going to absolutely heal all of our Pokemon. And uh, we kind of rushed through the previous area, so let's go back. We're in a uh, we're in a hotel right now. That's pretty interesting. This entire area here is just a bunch of hotels, so we might as well go inside, see what people are doing. This guy's over here by his trash can. Is that right? You're a traveler? Yeah, it's good to see other places. Do you know about Mount Moon in the Kanto region? Clefairy dancing under the moon. It's something I must see in my lifetime. Clefairy, Clefairy. I remember that episode of the anime a long time ago. That was fun. All right, let's take a look. All right, what is this clown? Me, a simple soul. I let my guitar do all the talking. All I need is music and Pokemon. Okay, cool. Let me gaze into your eyes. I'll read your fortune. A magical encounter is in the wind, so I cannot tell whether it be a Pokemon or a trainer. It's like a fortune cookie, man. TM92s? I like that. That's great. A uh, trick room. Oh, cool. Cool. Trick room. That's an interesting thing. Trick room is where you uh, you change up the, the speed stats of everyone for, uh, for five turns. So all the slow Pokemon go first and the fast Pokemon go last. What is this? Hello. At a restaurant, you can enjoy more than just exquisite dining. You may also partake in battles. Uh, yeah. Allison, uh, uh, thank you for coming today. Should we make a toast? She's the girl from the Pokemon Supply Store I go to all the time. We're incredibly happy together. Would you like to battle us? Yes. I don't know what this is, so do I earn anything? Are you super, like, strong? Clefairy, Roselia, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Infernip and Luxury, man, these are my two OGs from the very beginning of the game. So, I'm gonna take... Yeah, I'm gonna take care of this uh, little Roselia. And I guess I'm gonna spark uh, this Clefairy. Flame Wheel done. I mean, they're level 23. You're gonna get some pretty decent experience from beating them up. I'm more curious as to, like, what's even the point. Like, do you get points? Do you get something else from doing the battle dining section? Um, I don't know. Eugene's the one with all the Pokemon. Listen, Yuji. Yeah, this is sad. I, I mean, you guys are just in the middle of eating dinner, and then, like, this random kid shows up, and you're like, oh, yeah, like, let me just stop what I'm doing, and battle while Eugene comes prepared with three Clefairies weird man weird all right Eugene uh, yeah, that's that's great 5,000 bucks for beating up Eugene and, and girl okay uh, sorry we lost Allison you're not upset are you uh, don't worry much about winning or losing. I keep my Pokemon with me because I love it. 
Um, you know, I, I, I don't want to battle all these people. No, I don't. Maybe I'll get something if I do so. Should we battle them? You let me know. Should we battle them? Maybe we'll get something if we beat every single person. This is called like the Battle Cafe. What is this? Seven Stars Restaurant. More flavor than you could wish for? I don't know. Uh, this person locked their keys out. Uh, Drop my sweet key somewhere. Yeah, yeah. It's like right over there. Don't worry. Like, I wish I can get it. It's, it's right there. I don't think I can help you. Let's look around. Let's look around a little bit more. Oh my gosh, a Gengar! Wow! Hey, it's a Gengar loving director. Battling other trainers is exciting, isn't it? Keep building those bonds and you can take on tougher trainers. Okay. I'm. Um, that's. Oh my gosh! This is the game director? Oh my goodness gracious. Now, who exactly does that look like? This little character. <laughs> With a Psyduck. What does that look like? You know exactly who that looks like. That's so fun. He's got a pool over here too? The game director. Come on back here after you defeat the champion. Don't forget about this. Okay, so you guys are reminding me. That's so cool. That's right. That little character, that's the game director, looks exactly like Masuda-san. Alright, here we go. I'm feeling it, man. I'm battling you. That's really awesome. I don't think uh, Masuda-san has actually modeled himself after anyone in the game series before, but that was easily a dead giveaway. Alright, time to intimidate. Here we go. I am gonna go for a um, Grass Knot on you, and a- oh, actually, I'm sorry. I'm gonna go Flame Wheel on Mr. Mime. We're gonna go for a Spark on Fizzy McDuck over here. Swablu is leveling up, man. Okay. Uh, do a quick Google search. Tell me when Squabble evolves, because that's the Pokemon that I need to evolve the most. Like, I should start using it a lot more. It's such- it's a dragon type. It's a long stretch. It takes a long time. Alright, so you guys decided that we are going to beat this up. My hors d'oeuvres have gone cold. 35? That's a long time away. Yikes. I should be using him. Pseudo Wudo and Bonsley. Look at father and son over here. <laughs> yeah, get on. Rock type. Uh, yeah, I can probably do some work against these guys. Let's do a close combat on Pseudo. And we're gonna do a, a crunch. Oh, we can do a spark. That's right. He's not a ground type, he's a rock type. Dude, Sturdy, get out of here. 35. 35. What? Come on, everyone. Pseudo with the flail. Look at that. How smart. Flail is stronger the lower HP you have. And since you had the Sturdy ability, which allows you to survive on 1 HP, he used the maximum amount of power he had at his disposal, which is really good. I love Sturdy. Sturdy's just so fun. It's just that you have to remember who has Sturdy and like who doesn't, right? Like, all right, I'm gonna knock out this Magnemite. No, you're not. <laughs> all right, I don't want to get paralyzed. So I guess I'm just gonna spark this Pichu and I'm gonna Grass Knot it because we don't want to do any direct contact moves on Pichu. We have to like tiptoe around him. Come on, Bronzor. There we go. Rich boy. Oh, rich boy. How rich? I never thought I'd lose at Father's Restaurant. Oh, look at this, these NPCs. How can I lose at Dear Papa's Restaurant? 15,000. All right. Good. What's up, kid? I'm, I do want to join you for a yummy, a yummy little dinner. Although I just had some sushi, I'm good. 
And look at your mom and Bonsley's. What? Wooper Merrill? Okay, this is gonna be fun. I've got a grass type move for Wooper. Although I don't know if that's gonna knock him out, honestly. Wooper is a water ground? Is he water ground? Or is he just water until he evolves? Oof, gone. See you later. He's he's out of here. And a big spark. See ya, Meryl. Dude, I love Meryl and Azumarill in this game. They're so good. Fairy type Azumarill. Here's Eye Palm. What is this thing doing here? Alright, it doesn't get ground until he evolves into Quagsire. That's what I thought, right? That's kind of like Mudkip, too. Like, Mudkip's a pure water type until it evolves and gets that ground typing. Wow, you're out there. Uh, no one's hurt? 4,000 bucks? Come on, Mom. You know you got more money than that. Alright, here we go. Next up, these appetizers look delicious. Someone bring me a mist spray so they look even fresher. Thanks, that was quick. Wait, where's the mist spray? You want to battle? Whatever. I'm up for your challenge. Yeah, let's go. A mist spray? X -x 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 -x. Why? Look at Cameraman Daryl and Reporter. Look at these guys. Wow, this is cool. There's a Luxio. Boing boing. Alright, well, we got some we got some work ahead of us. Oh, you gotta intimidate as well. Eesh, yikes. Alright, so I'm gonna go flame wheel to the Luxio. We're also going to go Spark against the Murkrow. And that should be more than enough damage for these guys. Yeah, that mom is indeed on a budget. What the heck? I mean, she's taking her, her son out for a restaurant meal, right? I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's go. 33. Volt Switch? I love Volt Switch. What are you going to change it out with? Uh, yeah, let's get rid of Leer. We need a little bit more diversity in this moveset. Like, you need to do some work. You can't just be a one note. Like, you need a little bit wider move pool. Thank you. Bite is great. I love that. But it's not good enough. I need to actually look up uh, Luxray's moves. Alright, we're gonna go Grass Knot against Pikachu. Because, again, we don't want to... Uh, we don't want to touch Pikachu with any physical contact moves. So that was really good. All right. Quite the demonstration. <laughs> I should have expected that. Well, she's happy to lose. That's great. Okay, so we beat everyone. Now what? That's it? Come on, man. I didn't have time for that. These guys didn't do anything. Hold on, I beat everyone. Nothing happened. Sorry guys, I wanted to. I really wanted something to happen there, but nothing. Okay, well, we've kind of explored that entire area. Uh, we can come back to it a little bit later on. We've got to visit the game director. The game director is chilling in that little villa over that way. Uh, and there's another guy at the pool that says, come back after you've already become champion. So, I guess we're gonna do that. It's unfortunate that we didn't get anything, so... Anyway, excuse me, monkey. Uh-huh, rich boy. Alright, rich boy, cool, good to know. Okay, so now there's everyone on the sea here. I don't really want to fight any of these people, I just want to move forward. Uh, a breakable with rock smash? Why? Why am I breaking these? Are there Pokemon hiding inside? Don't know. Hello? Poke Dr. Footstep. Uh-huh. So he tells you how much a Pokemon likes you? Okay. Wow, that, that's really interesting. Footprint ribbon? Uh, tell me about this. Is this max happiness? No way.
Uh, ribbon awarded to deem uh, to have a top quality footprint. Psh, I don't know, man. I couldn't tell you anything about that. Usually in the game, there's like a happiness ribbon that you, Doctor Footstep. Psh, no idea, man. Get that guy out of here. Yeah, I don't really remember this generation on if there's like a, a happiness checker or anything like that, but maybe he's the person. Couldn't tell ya. Could not tell ya. Uh, as far as gifted Eevee in the game, I don't know yet. You're gonna have to let me know. We're just, uh, we're going around. I think we're doing pretty good about talking to all the NPCs that are floating around in the game. So yeah, just stay tuned, man. All right, is there anything in the... Dude, I take I take a half a footstep in the grass and I find a wingle, yay, that's great. All right, what do you got here? What do you got here? A level 20, I'm gonna go grass knot. Shouldn't KO. Yeah, let's do hit KO. A water pulse hurts, can you stop? And I got confused with water pulse, man. Get out of here. I'm just tossing this. I do have Ultra Balls. I do. Why am I tossing regular? Because they work. Dude, I was holding the B button the whole time. Of course it works. Just kidding, just kidding. Okay, this is great. Uh, we got a brand new Pokemon. Yay, uh, Wingle. Great. Welcome to the team. Catching sea winds with its long wings. It soars as if it were a glider. It folds its wings to rest. Believe in the Pico, right? What is his name? Pico? In like the other game? I'm out of here. Hello. Footprints are left in the sand when you walk on the beach. Pokemon seem to enjoy leaving footprints as much as people. Okay. Veilstone was pretty far away, you're right. But we're actually here to do some work in Pastoria. Oh, I got some work to do in Pastoria, for sure I do. I'm visiting the area because I wanted to see the Great Marsh. I'm staying at the Lakeside Hotel. Okay. Grr, this is so annoying. What is it? Oh, some kid with only three gym badges? Little twerps like you should know to stay out of Team Galactic's way. Now this package from Veilstone, where should I set it off? Yup, this is going to be a smashing job for Team Galactic. What? You're just like a totally impatient boy I met earlier. Just like you is very close to this Pokemon. Hey, thanks for making me smile. These might put a smile on your face. Bubble sticker is great. I don't know, man. The game's really, really pushing these stickers. I have no interest in putting stickers on my Pokeballs yet, so... Interesting. Whose house is this? Hello, you ace trainer. Worthy of a scarf? This Pokemon's not bad, it's not good either, it's just so-so. Feed him more Poffins? No! Uh-huh, uh-huh, well... Worthy of a scarf? Are you gonna give me like a choice scarf? What kind of scarf are you giving? Dude, I don't know, man. My Pokemon's apparently not worthy enough for it, so there's that. Alright, uh, yeah, go ahead and heal my Pokemon, and then we're gonna go straight to our friend over at the, um, over at the gym. Wow, look at this team. Look at this team right now. This team's really good. Alright. Ah, yeah, Great Marsh Observatory. Uh-huh, Great Marsh. Yeah, we'll take a look at the Great Marsh. They mention a rare Pokemon in it. We're going to eventually go there. Alright, Pastoria City, man. Crush your wake, I'm coming for you. That's the last thing I do, old man. Who are you? In the Great Marsh, they use quick trams on rails for transportation. They prevent damage to the Great Marsh's ecosystem. And it was just a side up chillin'. Cool. Pastoria's leader is like breathtaking in a weird way. It's hard to explain. You'll know what I mean though. Breathtaking? Crasher Wake. Dude, I'm gonna destroy Crasher Wake. This one's a long gym path though. Uh, gym leader Wake, uh, I mean Crasher Wake, is a master of water type Pokemon. I say you got guts if you try to face down water types with fire or ground type Pokemon. But that'll be the part I leave up to you. Go and have some good battles. So this game is actually pretty fun because what you do in here is you just, uh, you change the water levels and you beat up all the people along the way. So this would be really easy. 
Let's go get a gym badge. Wow, look at the sunset. Sunset? Sunrise? What is that? Look at this gym area. Okay, maybe that wasn't the sun. Maybe that was just the lights. All right, here we go. I can do this. I can do this. It's remembering the first time it met you. Go Grasna! Yeah! A fire-type Pokemon in a water gym. The audacity of this man. Later, Jackie. <laughs> wow, he literally only had that much money in his pockets. Okay. Well, what was the point of that? Uh-huh, uh-huh. That didn't do anything. Can I go this way? No, I can't. I need that raised up. All right, so we're going to play a little game called Rising and Lowering of the Tides here. All right, there was no point in me doing that part. So we're going to lower. Uh-huh, cool. Okay, well, we need to raise again. Hello. Yo, that's Trainer Red. Gen 1. No, it's not. It's this guy who looks like him. Fisher. Fisherman. Walter. Barboach. Dude, Barboach is ground grass. Or sorry, ground water who's four times weak against grass. This is rough for him, man. Get ready to double bounce right now. Yikes, man. Infernape with Grass Knot? You don't even dare go against him. Alright, things are looking good. Yo, this Kaza is at level 36, man. It's insane. Alright, thanks, buddy. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I would say this little water up and down puzzle is a little difficult, but you'll get it if you keep on uh, showing your persistence. You'll get it. And follow my lead if you're ever lost. I've traveled all over the globe while raising Pokemon. Yeah, sure, Sailor Man. If it's a Wingle, I'll be a little afraid of it, because Wingle is only one time... Or it's actually neutral. Yeah, yeah, see, it's, it's neutral damage against Wingle. So if, thing, if this thing uses, like, Water Pulse, I'm donezo. Maybe you can take two Water Pulses. Pluck. Oof. What are you plucking over here, man? Yeah, Wingle's not a good matchup for me. It's gonna be too a KO. See, the thing about Grass Knot is that the heavier the Pokemon, the more damage it does. And Wingle weighs like not even a pound, man. So it's just not gonna do a lot of damage. Yow. <laughs> Fisherman could totally pass off as Red's dad. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Damien, nice to meet you. Uh, good arms there. Keep working those arms out. Don't skip out on chest day. Hello, little kid. Oh, and you got your little sister here? Don't worry, we'll beat her. We'll beat her Pokemon, too. Here we go, Caitlyn. Let's do some work. I wish Mega Pokemon were back. I don't know why or why they're not bringing Megas back. This little Azumarill looks like he's a water type, but that's clearly a normal type Pokemon, so we're gonna power a bunch. Isn't it normal? Wait a second, what typing is Azurel? Mm, yeah, I don't know. Can't be fairy. It's not fairy. Normal fairy? No way, yeah? They just added that fairy typing to it, huh? Interesting. See, all these, like, new typings that Pokemon got with the newer generations, I have to, like, keep myself, like, a head up, right? Like, normally Azrael is just a normal type, but then, like, in the newer generations, they add the fairy typing to it. I don't know. But anyway... I digress. Moving on. What's up, dude? I've landed the most fish in the world? What does that mean? 
Fisher Eric with a CK? Yeah, right. Goldine, you're done. Let's go, baby. This is so cool that we're just using Infernape to blast through these Pokemon. Here's a Gyarados. Uh, with the Intimidate, it doesn't matter. I'm using a special attack in the form of this Grass Knot. Two hit KO? That thing's heavy. Yeah, Gyarados is heavy. Scald! Yo, ow, 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 ow! Oh my gosh. That hurts, man. Stop it. I am going to have to, like, get out of here and go heal up. Yeah, I'm gonna have to heal up after I defeat all these gym trainers because I don't have enough power points for uh, all these grass nuts that I'm about to do against um, Crash or Wake, so I may have to do the little water puzzle one more time. It's unfortunate, but blame it on Eric. Yeah, I almost got burned from that skull. Can I? Can a fire type Pokemon? No, fire type Pokemon can't get burned, right? Wait, what's the point? Oh gosh, where am I going? I think I made it to Crash or Wake? I think this is the last guy. Hmm. I'm trying to like, do all of my steps backwards, if it's even possible. It's gotta be possible. Shellos! Okay, so now Shellos is one of those where I'm confused too. Is that straight water or is it water ground? That's just like a mudkip or a barboach. It's kind of interesting to think about. Wow, you're so light. I could have gotten away. Ow, ow, whoa, 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 what? Ouch, that hurt, man. Chill. I got a CC and I'm out. He's so strong. And he's so light. It's a little baby snail that weighs nothing. So I'm going to close combat and get out of here. There's only two more Pokemon. It's a Wingle. Oh my gosh. I can lose right here. So I don't really want to lose. I don't want to lose my Pokemon. So let's just do Luxray. Sorry, man. I don't think that with a lower defense and special defense from close combat, I don't think it's smart to try for two of the... He used Roost first turn. Wow, okay, that's nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> Luxray, man. Luxray is just so good. Bronzor, stop about. Stop about safeguard. No. Your Shellos is a water type, yeah? Oh, East Shellos and West Shellos. You get to see them both. I like the little blue one. He's kind of cute. His little wings on his back are, are very interesting. I don't really know what's up with that, but... Samson, you're done! Alright, let's take a look. So this last blue one brings it all the way to the top. And then now we're up at Crasher Quake. But there's another way back. Uh, uh, no, 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 I don't need that. I don't need that. What just happened? Did I mess that up? Oh, I'm messing this up big time. But that's okay, because I need to get out of here. Um, little kid. Little kid, open up. This is the way I'm gonna open up and get out of here, right? Right, kid? Dude, what? These switches! Wait, I don't think I'm able to, to move this way, am I? Let me see. There we go, there we go, cool, cool. All right, let's teleport ourselves over to the Pokemon Center, and uh, then we should be all set and ready to go and beat up Crash or Wake. I'm gonna do my best in order to win. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, man. I didn't buy any X special attack, so if I bought an X special attack, I could probably win with my Infernape. We'll just have to see. 
We'll just have to see. Nuzlocking in this game is super easy, man. Honestly, Infernape, I got rid of, or he actually fainted once just because I was being careless and stayed in on Gastrodon. Dude, Nuzlocke in this game is easy. But it depends on how hard you want to go into the Nuzlocke challenge, right? Uh-huh, 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 mm-hmm, 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 go up. Uh-huh, go up. See a kid. Go this way, gonna hit that down. We're gonna hit this one down again. Look at how easy this puzzle is, man. Look at how easy that is. So simple for you. All the way up to the top, and here we go. Crash or wake, it's time. Do I own an X special? Did I find one on the ground? Battle items. No, I only have X attack and X defense, so that's not going to be any helpful for me. But that's okay, you know what? I've got Luxray in my back pocket. Okay, Crash or wake is gigantic. Uh, welcome. I don't get challenged very often. The glory you are now beholding is the Pastoria Gym Leader. That's right, I'm Crash Awake. My Pokemon were toughened up by stormy white water, as they'll take everything you can throw at them and then pull you under. Victory will be ours. Come on, let's get it done. I didn't put on battle animations. Come on, man. That's okay. It's Crash Awake, man. Whatever. Oh my gosh, a Gyarados? Man, that's scary. He's gonna intimidate right off the bat, doesn't he? If he does like Waterfall, I'm donezo, dude. He's only got three Pokemon, man. Take that big two hit KO. Brine? Ow, ow, ow. Ouch, man. Later, Gyarados. Level 38, baby. Let's keep going. Swablu, level 30. Mm-hmm. Quagsire? Oh, you're so done. Quagsire is four times a week against Grass Knot. Get out of town, buddy. Dunk? That HP bar went so fast. Who else you got? Weasel now? I can take a Surf. It's just two Grass Knots and you're out, man. Sure, dude. Take Vital Throw. It doesn't matter. Here. Get out of here. No one cares about your moves, Machop. Floatzel, man. Hey, that there. That was a good move. Here comes Floatzel. Okay, so Floatzel's not that heavy, but this thing can easily destroy me with an Aqua Jet. Maybe two of them? Grass Knot. Boom, baby! Wow, wow, wow! Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Was Crash Your Wake a lot harder in the original? What am I missing here? Honestly, what am I missing here? Why was that so easy? Four grass knots and you're done. Whoa, it's gone and ended. How will I say this? I want more. I wanted to battle a lot more. Yeah, more than four turns. Me too. You're a gym leader and you only brought three Pokemon. It seems the underdog pulled me under, but I had a great time battling with you. You earned this. Ding ding! Halfway through the game, man. You received the Fen badge from Wake. You need that Fen badge to use the hidden power or hidden move Defog. There's a special reward from me in recognition of your team's power. Yay, stickers! TM55, Brian. Alright, double the damage on targets with less than half their HP left. Wow. Cool. Alright, well, Crash Awake, that was really fun. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much for your uh, hard work and dedication. Thanks for not bringing six Pokemon into battle. Uh, like a normal Pokemon trainer that has... <laughs> 
that has first started off on their journey and they filled up their entire move, their like team of six Pokemon. Like you could not do that. But keep in mind that Crasher Wake has to give out badges. He can't be unbeatable, right? Like if you think about Rourke, right? Rourke has the worst job out of all of the gym leaders because he's like the first one that everyone goes through. So he has to be permanently weak at like level 10 with all these Pokemon. So he never wins. He just throws the game every time. Like, what? Anyway, that was Crasher Wake. That was so fun. Uh, so Crasher Wake is done. We gotta make our way back to the Heart Home City and beat out Fantina, who has a lot of ghost type Pokemon. I think that uh, on the next one, we'll jump into that and, uh, and see what else is happening. But yeah, that was really good. Crasher Wake, pretty simple. Um, yeah, like I told you, Grass Knot on Infernape is just too good, man. I didn't even need an X special attack at the beginning. I just outsped and proceeded to dominate. Best Pokemon, hands down, Infernape. Anyway, see you guys on the next one. Be good. That was really good, man. I can't believe. Dude, did I struggle on that one in the old version? Tell me. Did I struggle with that one on the old gameplay? I don't know, man. What's up, Christina? How are you? Gryffindork in the house. Hello. What's happening? Highland Grub, what up? I'm doing well. I might need like a refill of this water bottle. Remember earlier when this thing was full? Now it's down to like the little bits, man. I gotta keep drinking. All right, all right. So that was cool. I'm honestly looking at my uh, my walkthrough over here. And the walkthrough that I did a while ago uh, has me going to Psyduck. I'm doing like this little Psyduck quest. Yeah, I'm doing the Psyduck quest and then we're going forward and then we're gonna go beat up, beat up Fantina, Canalave, and then Snowpoint. So there's a lot of cool stuff happening. I'm glad to have you guys on board. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Yeah, the game's uh, relatively easy. I mean, I'm not I'm not here to like ask for a challenge, and that's the that's the fine part about Pokemon, right? The game is supposed to be accessible, so you're not like frustrated about the game. You have half the audience that says, "Oh my gosh, you're over level, this, that, or the other," right? But at the same time, whatever. Like you're going through the story mode. It's not supposed to be really hard for you unless you make it hard yourself. Honestly, I'm having a great time, regardless of if my Infernape is uh, doing all of the heavy lifting, but that's the way I want it, man. He's, he's the best Pokemon. So anyway, it honestly doesn't matter. There's no, there's no right or wrong way how to play the game as long as you are having fun, right? Right. All right, Machop, you better level up, man. Uh, Bronzor, Swablu, I need to get this guy going. Man, I need to find out who learns False Swipe out of all the Pokemon that I have over here. I think I'm gonna give it to Swablu, honestly, because I'm gonna, it, it's gonna come to a point where I'm gonna need to start doing the Premier Ball Challenge. And the only legendary that I have that I'm gonna go for first is going to be what? Dialga? No, Palkia, right? I don't even know. I don't even know, man, but it should be a good one. All right, you guys ready to jump into this next one? Give me some hype in the chat, good to see ya. Good to see you. Thanks for relaxing with me this evening. By the way, all of you guys, thank you so much. Yeah, let's go. What else is happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one's good, man. Let's go. It's time to hit this. You ready? Yeah, let's go. Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with even more Pokemon, uh, Brilliant Diamond, and Shining Pearl. I wanted so badly to say, let's go Pikachu and let's go Eevee, but that's not the case. So, anyway, let's move on. This guy, the package finally came from the Veilstone Warehouse, and now it's my job to deliver this to the lake. It's an important mission. No failure is allowed. No making boo-boos, like wandering off into the Great Marsh. You were eavesdropping. I was just talking uh, loudly to myself. I wasn't in a hurry. If I wasn't in a hurry, I'd pulverize you with my Pokemon. 
But I have to get on my way to the lake ASAP. You're so lucky I'm out. Oh, and listen up, you. Don't you dare follow me. So we have to go to the Great Martian. We have to follow this guy. Um, I was kind of looking at my team here. Swablu, like, I gotta get this guy going. He's got a quick claw, sassy by nature. That's great and all. Uh, play rough, sing dragon breath. These are good moves. I'm thinking I should bring him first. I should really start babying this dude. I love Swablu. And if Swablu is gonna be my, uh, my Pokemon that's going to be helping out with False Wipe, then we gotta use him. Gah, persistent pest. If our plan works, our boss's dream comes closer to fruition. Our boss's ideal world is going to be created. So I'm not going to waste my time on a nobody, nobody like you. I'm telling you now, don't you come chasing after me. Whoops, haha, <laughs> I'm not always going to plow into you every time we meet. So how's it going, Abdallah? Buffing up your Pokemon? I'll test you and your Pokemon to see how buff and tough you are. Dude, I just switched to baby Pokemon. Don't do this to me, Bear Bear. You got four Pokemon, man. Alright, your flying baby versus my flying baby. Who's gonna win? Go, Swablu, I know you can do it. Why am I talking nice to that thing? Alright, whatever. Here you go. Have a dragon breath. Get paralyzed, kid. That's right. Don't pluck me. Ow, 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 that hurts, man. Uh, round is not good. I guess I'm dragon breathing everything. Because, oh, wait, Swablu's not a dragon type, is it? Gross, man. Swablu is not. But Swablu took down that baby bird. 218, dude. You're not getting any level up. You're gonna use Prinplup? What's Prinplup have? Dude, I don't even know Swablu's typing. It's like, what, normal? Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Oh, gross, man. Round? 60? Hold on, man. I need to know. Uh, normal flying, right? Yeah, you're normal flying. Dude, you're not a dragon at all. A, it's a little bit stronger. Bubble Beam? Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey, hey. I thought I was a dragon type. Easy, easy. I can't handle that. All right, all right. All right, Swablu, dude, I can't. You can't 1v1 this thing. If I was a dragon flying, that Bubble Beam would be nothing. Come here. Got you. Oh, I should have taken him out with Volt Switch, man. That would have been so good. To switch back into Primplop, I mean, uh, into Swablu. Wow, that was real. That was a really good level up. Kaza's at 37. That's insane to think about. I'm not even using this Kadabra and it's leveling up so fast. Altaria is dragon flying. Mega Altaria is a fairy type? Um, yeah. Mega Altaria is what? Fairy dragon? <laughs> I don't even know, man. What did you do? You just leech seeded me? What are you doing? That's rude. Alright, Machop, 25, man. Get to get to evolving already. Barry's about to do Ponyta. You know what? I'm gonna keep on babying this Swablu. It's time. Swablu should be my strongest Pokemon. I wish I could Mega Evolve so badly. I can tell you raise your Pokemon to be tough. Okay, Bear Bear. Yeah, I can't mess around with this, dude. Uh, we're gonna have to... Um... Yeah, we're going Infernape. In case it wants to do a fire type move? Okay, great. Okay, that's fine. We could just use a close combat, man. See you later. Minus one close combat will still knock you out. Bad bye. Swablu, leveled up. So we're doing a little bit of babying here. I gotta get this thing to Altaria. Because look, 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 if I'm going to be out here, if I'm going to be out here trying to get Palkia, I need to somehow get 
myself ready for that. I don't know. Hey, uh, what was that Team Galactic guy all freaking out about? I don't know what he's up to, but you should chase him down. If you're not a Pokemon and you run like that, you're a bad guy. All right, Abdallah, next time I'm not holding back. Okay, Barry, thank you. That was really rough. I was not expecting you to come over here and, like, knock out my little Swablu that I'm trying to raise up over here. So that was kind of rude. Just throwing that out there. Give me Mega Evolutions. Did you guys like Mega Evolutions? Or did you like Gigantic Max, Gigantamax Dynamax? Did you guys like that? Better? <laughs> I don't know if anyone liked that, to be honest. I don't think I like Dynamax. No. It was like, how do we make Pokemon bigger and stronger? We'll just make them bigger and stronger. Like, the size of a, a tower. Right? No, man. Alright, let's go. It's time. You're mine. There's something on top of the big cliff here. Uh, I don't have Rock Climb yet. Yeah, a lot of you guys like Mega better. Dude, Mega was so good. Oh, look at Beauty Cindy. Wow, Beauty Cindy, hello. Backhand. Love that. Okay, here we go. Pokemon, go! Should I, you know, I, I can take on this thing. It's level 23, man. Give me a Dragon Breath. I'm a normal flying type. Eat a Dragon Breath. With the Paralysis, yes. And have a Round, which is a little bit stronger. Dang, I was gonna switch out too. No way, this baby bird's got it. Cindy, that's how you would take Pasha. What does Pasha mean? Is that like onomatopoeia? All right, you. Okay, we're gonna go through and battle these guys because I need the experience for my little birdie here. And they're just yeah, magic arms. Okay, great. Man. Yeah, Mega Evolutions were just so cool. And what I really liked about Mega Evolutions was the fact that you can you can have so many different Pokemon Mega Evolve, right? It's so awesome. I really wanted a Mega Flygon so badly, but that was just not in the cards. I think they said, like, the director of, you know, making all the Pokemon designs had, like, writer's block and couldn't come up with a design for Mega, um, Mega Flygon. It's not a thing. Yo, we're rounded. Oh, gosh. Ice Fang? Ow, ow, ow. Oh, dude, get out of here. Dude, I'm out. See you later. No way. I can't even deal with that. Dude, waterfall on me? Get out of here, Gyarados. Gyarados is just so, like, iconic. This thing is so great. Yeah, Mega Luxray would have been really cool looking for sure. Uh-huh, yep, that's great. Okay, give me... Give me... Oops. Give me some healing. Swablu, you're almost there, man. Don't don't you worry. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I have to see what other moves Swablu can actually learn. If I have any TMs, that'll help it be better. Oh, wow, here's the grunt. We need the energy from the Valley Windworks to make this. It would take a scientific genius to make something like this. Therefore, our boss who made this is a scientific genius. Oh, Graw, you were eavesdropping. I was just thinking out loud. You're a persistent pest. I'm getting tired of running away, but I'm not going to waste my energy knocking you around. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I see that item over there. Don't you... Aerial Ace. That's good. If you're a physical flying type Pokemon. Yeah, I mean... I don't know where Altaria's stats are leaning towards. 
If it's special attack or if it's uh, physical attack. I really have to look up Altaria's moveset for this game. I can only imagine Dragon Pulse would be something. Um, I want to keep Dragon Breath because if this thing's going to be my Pokemon catcher, I'm going to paralyze things. Yeah, I'm totally going to paralyze things. Alright, B Barrel, look at this ugly thing. Wow, 3 KO, great. Yo, what's up, Janiel? Here we go, boom. That's a 3 hit KO with a tackle. Yow. I need better moves on this Pokemon. Like, hurry up and evolve. Oh, poor little girl feeling hungry, man. Who's gonna feed her? Who's buying her lunch? Isn't this nice? I love my inner tube. That's kind of weird that, like, sometimes it zooms in the camera. Alright, we're just beating up Jared now. We beat up your sister. Here's a Shellos. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything against Shellos. If it's gonna use a ground type move, please do, right? All I got is round, man. That's my strongest move. Uh, play rough is 90. Round is also 90. So, yeah, there's that. But round is based on my special attack. Ow. Come on, 1 HP Harden? Okay, that's kind of cool. Here, pick one of these. <laughs> wow. Okay, special attack. So it's mixed attack, is that right? It can go physical or special? Interesting. Alright, we're going this. Get the paralysis, and it used Harden. Cool. Not enough power points on round, man. Ooh, got the free paralysis. Love it. Shellos? You got. Dude, get these Shelloses out of here. I'm done. Four rounds, and I'm out. That's going to be a 3 hit KO. Dude, you can't recover. No, don't do that. Don't be playing stall with me. There we go. Hit me. Thank you. And I'm out of round, so I'm going to use Dragon Breath. Alright, so, you know, my little bird here is actually doing some pretty good work. I'm good with it. I wish I could just take all the experience that's like getting shared with all the other Pokemon and just like take that as a lump sum and then give it to whoever I want. Like here's bonus experience, how do you want to split it up? Um, I want to split it up in a way that uh, I can give it all to this Swablu. Is that a possibility? Here, heal my Swablu, thanks. All right, here we go. It's this house right here, got you. Why am I running like this anyway? That new universe the boss was talking about, it's giving me goosebumps thinking about it, so we use this. Huh, you were eavesdropping. I was only talking to myself. You're persistent too. I'm pooped out from all the running, but I'm not going to battle you. Okay, um, oh, hello, hi. Oh no, you're still on my tail? That lake's within sight. You leave me no choice, my Pokemon will knock you out. Really, guy? Alright. You got one Pokemon, and who's it gonna be? A Glammeow. Gladly. Come here. I'll paralyze it, and then proceed to pound it. I mean, round it. Yeah, we're gonna round it. Nice! Boom! How strong is Dragon Breath? 60? Oh, this is 90. This should be enough to KO. Min max. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Because if Dragon Breath is 60 uh, base power, this one's 90, so it should be good. Man, Infernape is growing.
All right, the boss is mad. Now what? I didn't really read that. Oh gosh, am I going in here? Cynthia, what are you doing here? Hello? Hello, long time no see. How's your Pokedex filling up? I came to research the folklore about the lake, but well, it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Have you heard the folklore about it? They say there's an island inside the lake and that a mysterious Pokemon resides there. No one must enter the chamber of that uh, Pokemon. Sorry to change the subject, but have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yeah, I have. Yeah, that's right, by the cafe on Route 210. Uh, you've only seen that group of Psyduck huddled with their heads in their uh, hands? Anyway, what uh, you should do is use this medicine on the Psyduck. Uh, you're working on a Pokedex, so it'll be worthwhile for you. Ooh, thanks for the secret medicine, girlfriend. You put the bag of secret medicine in your bag's uh, key item pocket. Uh, I went on a big adventure with the Pokedex when I was younger. It may help you uncover the secret behind the mysterious Pokemon you're searching for. I hope you get to meet every kind of Pokemon there is to see. See you later. <sighs> I'm swooning over that. Oh, I love Cynthia. She's the best. Uh, can I fly? Go Fizduck! My first time flying with a random star raptor. Cool, can I catch you? I need your Pokedex data. Great. Well, that was good. So now we got ourselves the ability to fly for starters, which I haven't even shown off yet. Um, so very, very excited about that. Now that we can fly, we can go anywhere we need to. We can backtrack. Um, there's tons of places. But we're out here like spreading our experience around all of our teammates. So things are good. We let's go. Okay, okay. Here we go. Goodbye. We're we're out here. All right, Fizz Ducks. I'm here. I got your secret med med. The Psyduck are standing for him. They're already clay to move it all. Would you like to use a secret medicine? Yes. Yeah, spray it all over their eyes. The Psyduck appear to be cured of their chronic headaches. Oh, oh, look at them spin around. Oh, oh, you forgot one. Sigh. And there's Cynthia. Oh, good, you used the secret medicine I gave you. Psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches, but no one's been able to figure out what triggers their headaches. Oh, yeah, can I ask you a big favor? I want you to deliver this old charm to my grandma in Celestic Town. I know there's some rare Pokemon between here and Celestic Town, so it'll be worth your while to go. Yeah, sure. Anything for you. My dearest trainer, Cynthia. My grandma has a sort of bossy air about her. I think you'll recognize her right away. Yes, I'm sure you will. She's the elder of Celestic Town. As for location, look on your town map. You can't miss it. I'm counting on you. See you down the road. All right, we got some work to do. I am... I'm gonna opt to not mess around with random spawns over here. I'm gonna use a Max Repel. I just don't want to be bothered. I don't want to be bothered by random Pokemon, so... Here we go. I haven't even come across a, uh... A Ralts yet, so, like, as much as I... What the heck? As much as I want Gallade? Yeah, I, I, I have not, I've not seen a Ralts in this game at all yet. He's the absolute best Pokemon cap catcher in this generation. He's got access to Hypnosis, False Swipe, he's he's awesome. I would 100% use Gallade, but I'm working with what I'm given here. Alright, Geo Dud. Uh, boof, wow, okay, let's go Dragon Breath. If you use a Rock move, I'm done. What are you smacking me down for? Ow, dude! I lost my flying typing, man! Well, I guess that's good, because now you can't hit me with Rock moves? All right, Geo, dude. I'm on the ground. I don't think I'm gonna get hit by any other things. If I just do two Dragon Breaths, that should be enough to KO you. That's still super effective. I thought I lost my Flying type. That's not a thing. You don't lose it. You don't lose the Flying typing. You just get knocked down, so that you can get hit by like an earthquake or something like that. That's interesting. All right, Geo, dude. Man, I can't handle Geo, dudes. 
Yeah, I'm not going to, so I'm gonna go with, um... We're gonna go with Infernape here, just to bail out. Ooh! Yeah, nice try, Smackdown. Get out of here. Have a power-up punch. This is gonna hurt you so bad. Oh, I should've grass-knotted, but it doesn't matter. It's Geo, dude. Yeah, I gotta find myself a Wild Ralts that's not in the Great Underground. Alright? I think Great Underground is a little too cheap to find Pokemon, but anyway. That's neither here nor there. Alright, we need to heal. We need a little bit of healing. Let's go Super Potion. Ooh, beautiful, look at that. With a little bit of HP to spare. Thanks for the Hyper Potion, great. Can I use my bike in this grass? No, I can't use my bike in the grass. Oh, okay, great. Eh. Oh my gosh, do I not have Defog? I, didn't I get the TM for it? This is gross. Who's here? I, I don't want to do this. I want to just get to Celestic Town, man. Little Ninja Kid, go away. Ninja Boy Joel? Zubat? Man. Here we go. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we're going Dragon Breath. I think it's going to be a two, two hit KO for these Zubats. Oh, gross. Absorb. Yeah, that's going to turn into a three hit KO now. Thank you so much. Great. See, because that little amount that it absorbed. Boo. And I got badly poisoned? I'm sorry. What? That's ridiculous. Um getting badly poisoned wow that hurts so much scorupi no way man all right well we're gonna have to switch out some pokemon here getting badly poisoned is no good because after every turn you get poison damage and after turn after turn it gets like incrementally larger amount of damage and that's really not good so anyway Sparking this guy out of here. What? Get out of here. One HP. No. Okay, 35. That's awesome, man. Luxray is learning. Another Zubat? Yeah, we're going Swablu because we need to level up this dude. We're kind of babying him right now. But I'm not gonna stay in and do two battles when I'm like badly poisoned like that. No, thank you. Wow, inner focus, cool. Interesting. I like the little stripes uh, along Luxray's uh, little leg there. I think that's really cute. Okay, attack and special attack. Wow. Uh, Cotton Guard? No, we're not going to be doing that. As much as I love Cotton Guard as a move in general, we're not going to. Swablu is going to literally have one job, and that is going to be catching Pokemon for me. So that's why I want to raise it up and go False Swipe. False Swipe, Dragon Breath? I think that's great. It's not the best, though. Uh, how easy is this game? The game's pretty easy. It's very easy. Thank you, though. The game is made to be easy. Right? Like, it's not it's not hard at all. The experience share is very, very good to players to get a whole bunch of different experience for all their Pokemon. The AI is not the smartest. It's pretty simple. Pokemon's not a hard game. Uh, unless you get to post-game and then things get hard if you're trying to do like the battle tower and all that stuff. Yeah. Good luck. Okay, this is really gross. I don't like this at all. I have an antidote.
Wait, did you just recover your... I don't understand. Do you have natural healing? What is your... What's your ability? Natural cure? Wait a second. You had natural cure and you cured yourself of that poison? This is really bad. I don't like this part at all. I don't know if um, I'm supposed to go and get something first, but defog is the worst right now. Or this like fog over here. Man. That's really rough. Um, yeah, I guess I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna round this dude. Yeah, the fog was definitely there in the older game. It was, but it wasn't this prevalent. Like, you can kind of see your way through it. This one, it's just like, dude, you better go back to wherever it was that you're going to get that... Um... <laughs> that specific defog attack. I don't know, it's weird. Like, didn't I get... That was a crit? Mega Drain? What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't deal with this guy. Yeah, he's too- Grottle's too strong. Yo, he's throttling on me. Yo, he's mega draining me? Good luck. Dude, Grottle is so bulky. Bad buy right now. Boom! So much for that, Grottle. Get throttled. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 635. Good. All right, Alyssa, you're very awesome. That's my that's my favorite NPC right now. Green eyes, green hair. Perfect. Flawless. Hello? Hello? Ugh, nasty. This is rough, man. I'm sorry for those of you guys watching this. Ugh. I need to go get Defog. How are the skies all clear over here? What's the deal with that? Moth him? Dude, no way. Wait, did you just heal yourself? No, I mean, I could do, I could do Luxray. Yeah, Luxray could come in and save the day. That's fine. He needs a little bit more experience. This is rough, man. Unless you guys have uh, a 100% confirmed way of getting defog in the game, I don't know where it is. I was about to go to this great marsh that they keep on talking about, but I don't know, it just didn't happen. I just teleported back to the Psyducks, so I probably skipped the, <laughs> the area to get it, man. All right, Onyx, I can't deal with you. Kaza. I love it. I love it. Where is Defog? Where's the defog, man? Oh, uh, Luxio, no! I wanted to actually switch to Luxio. Ah, uh, this is no good. Yeah, I don't like... I'm not a big fan of all this fog here. And I might just teleport back to the nearest Pokemon Center, because that's ridiculous. <laughs> this Ace Trainer, I'm gonna go a little bit further, and if I don't make it, then I'm done. Down on the bridge, over... I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, Black Belt Adam, up and Adam. Machoke, wow. He just, wow. That Machoke looks so tiny compared to that grown man. 
All right, I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do Luxray. Here we go. Dude, knock off? What are you doing knocking me off? I love that move, by the way. Knock off was my favorite move. Knock off? Boom! You knock off, but then you can't, like, knock off their Mega Stone. Remember that back in the day? You're like, haha! I switched into my Mega, and you were gonna knock me off, but you can't knock off my Mega Stone. <laughs> and then you Mega Evolve on them and proceed to KO. What? Where am I? Okay, okay, here's the here's the black belt guy. Dude, I can't see anything. I oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, here we go. Dude, I don't know what's happening, man. I don't like this. I need to go get deep fog. Woo boy, yo, birdkeeper Brianna! I need to go get Defog, this is not good. This is probably like the only area in the game that has dense fog. And I'm just like, uh, brute forcing my way through it. It's not fun. So, I think after this... I think after this, we're going to... We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna teleport back to the nearest Pokemon Center. We're gonna end off the episode. And then we're gonna go once and for all to find Defog. Uh, based on wherever the heck that is. I don't even know where the Great Marsh is, man. It's probably like right outside of Crasher Wake. Because he gives us the authority to use it. But I just didn't look around. Because maybe there was that, that Pokemon... Um, or sorry, that Galactic Grunt that was just in front of me. And I'm like, oh, I have to chase him down before I lose him. Instead of like fully looking around the area. Ugh. Anyway. Alright, we're gonna switch out. We're gonna switch the heck out. Dude, defog, man. Like, you can, you can totally brute force your way through it. Honestly, if I had more patience, I would absolutely brute force my way through it. Like, it's not a... That's not it. Okay, uh, Bronzor, Extra Sensory. That's a great move. Yeah, that's better than Confusion. Absolutely it is. I'm taking it. One, two, three. Okay. We're gonna go through this defog and we're gonna get out of here, man. I have to get this thing. Alright, I'm gonna teleport out of here. We're gonna go back. Oh my gosh! What is this? Machop is evolving? Wow. Cool. Wow, it can lift a dump truck with one hand using that kind of strength that helps people do heavy jobs. All right. Um, we're going to go Pokecatch. I'm going to fly out of here. We're going to go back to Pastoraya. And uh, I'm going to get this thing, man. We're getting it, man. Is this the Great Marsh? Yeah, Observatory Gate. Deal. Hello, little one. Is this your first time in the Safari game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You received 30 Safari Balls. A lot in the Safari game. Cool. Great. Please enjoy it. What about you? Uh, yeah. I guess I'm doing this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a dude right over here that I have to, uh, talk to? You. 
found these during- there we go. Each of these TMs contains Defog, but none of my Pokémon can learn that move. You're doing me a favor if you took these. Alright, thanks, buddy. I'm not gonna play the Safari game, man. Whatever. I'm out. Yay! The Hidden Moves app! Yay! I have Defog now! Beautiful! I just don't have the authorization. Um, I don't have the authorization to use Strength. So now that I got Defog, I don't have to be grossed out. I don't have to be grossed out by that area. Uh, so that being said, let's actually do this for the episode. I'm going to fly over to the Pokemon Center in uh, this area here. And then we're going to end it off. And then I'm going to go over to the brand new Celestic Town. And I'm going to deliver. I'm going to hand deliver that package. From our friend Cynthia to her grandma. And then we're going to go check out some ruins, which is going to be so cool. So anyway, let's heal up. How hard was that? Am I right? That was so hard. All right, so Machoke can go. We can slip in another Pokemon into over here and then see if we can evolve them. All of that fun stuff, but it's going to be a good one. Okay, next time we have got, uh, yeah, we've got one more episode where we're going to record and we're going to get ourselves uh, straight over to Celestic Town. Thank you, Cynthia. You're the best. Kind of like you guys. Thanks for watching. All right. Man, what a day, huh? We've been playing Pokemon all day since 7 in the morning until 7 at night. That's 12 hours of this. Have you been watching every single bit of it? Thanks so much for coming. Wow. That's a lot happening. What am I, who am I going to swap out uh, in this game, right? I'm just like, honestly, we're swapping these last spots out so that I can fill up my Pokedex. So, honestly, Machoke. Doesn't need to be on the party. Like, he's redundant. Uh, you're here. Look at all these, like, trade evolutions, right? Who levels at what, man? Rapidash? Yeah, I'll take a Rapidash. Whatever. You want to evolve? Sure, come on over. Uh, this Kaza is going to help me out in Endgame when I really only have three Pokemon that are going to be uh, my teammates. So that'll be really fun. Woo! And then I really have to just evolve the rest of these Pokemon. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to try to collect them all, right? Like that's what I really want to do. Um, yeah, mythicals are there. Things are looking pretty good, pretty good. What are these items? Quick claw, amulet coin. Yeah, I guess I can just swap the held items. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Give Swablu that uh, shell bell. I'm gonna give this to Luxray. And we're good. Dude, the team looks great. Uh, two empty spots for whoever I want to level up and go from there. All right, talk to me about Ponyta. Talk to me about Bronzor. What levels do they level up and evolve at? Bronzor, is that a commitment? <laughs> I don't want to, man. I don't want to commit to Bronzor, but I got to get Bronzong and then just take them out. Ponyta? No, I have no idea. I could probably ask Siri. But I like asking the comment section, because you guys are always right, so there's that. Point out, better not be level 40. Don't even give me that, Matthew. That's gross. Bronzer level 33. Ponyta's 40. Man, I don't have time for that. <laughs> give me some cheap Pokemon. <laughs> oh, man. No way, man. I don't have time for that. Bronzer 33, dude. Ponytail level 40, you're out of your mind. If you think I'm gonna bring that guy. Um, Goldeen? What about Goldeen? What about Goldeen? Goldeen evolves into... How do you evolve a Goldeen? At 33 for Goldeen? Gross, man. What else? Mystery this? Mischievous evolves at level... Oh, you use a Dusk Stone? Mm, yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't have a Dusk Stone. This guy's got a lot. How about Golbat? Zubat to Golbat? <laughs> I'm like looking for cheap evolutions here. Zubat to Golbat 22, man. I'm in. That's cheap. <laughs> That's cheap. Oh, this is so funny. All right, Luxray. Yeah, I think our team's looking good. I just put a Zubat on my team because why not? Why the heck not? 
Wurmple, man. Wow, Wurmple is gonna be pretty good. We'll we'll get Wurmple going. All right, what do you guys say? One more, one more little thirty minute, and then we'll end off. We'll end off our little live stream here, and then we could jump into another one a little bit later on tonight if you want. Wingle to Pelipper is twenty five. That's a really good one too. Yeah, yeah. I'll keep that in mind for next one. All right, let's do it. A lot of you guys want one more. I gotta refill up my water bottle. You guys cool? Chilling right here for a second. You guys cool with that? Let me go fill up my water bottle. I'm like parched, man. I've been talking for 12 hours. All right, I'll be back. Two seconds. How are you playing right now? Someone tell me how he's playing. One man drink that, huh? Yo, did you guys figure it out? Yo. How's he how's he playing this game? What? Yo, how? Which version are you playing? Hello? <laughs> hey, what's up? Where am I? It's like the no signal thing. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. How much water did you drink today? Okay, so this is another 64 ounces. <laughs> Who's my starter? How did you get Mew? What version are you playing? How did he get Swablu? <laughs> Where did he get Magby from? Oh my gosh. Help me, please. <laughs> Alright, let's go, man. Oh, let's play, man. Let's play. This is a good game. I'm having a field day. I've never used Swablu in this run before, so this is actually going to be pretty fun. You know what? I'm going to give that Swablu the uh, the false swipe. I'm just going to give it to it right now because that's my plan. And I can buy more false swipes. So let's see. I can learn Roost too. That's really great. Uh, false swipe. He's Yeah, that's the only Pokemon that can learn that. Yeah, let's go. Get rid of um, get rid of Sing. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use Sing. Although maybe I do Sing, and then I opt for not on Dragon Breath, because you can get you can do Paralysis. I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with that thing. All right, we're gonna go False Swipe. That's good. Uh, you're gonna be Dragon Flying. I do need it flying. You can learn Dazzling Gleam. That's actually really good, but you're not that typing. You can learn Fly. I'm never gonna use Fly, man. Aerial Ace, Defog. Defog's good. Work up. Can learn Attract. Don't need Attract. That's weird. Uh, I don't need Roost. Oh, you can learn Ice Beam, Swablu? Excuse me? Hold on, hold on. Swablu can learn Ice Beam. That's great, but I don't need you as an attacker. Dang. Because uh, I can learn that. Zubat can learn that. Trick Room, don't need that. You can learn Aerial Ace. Infernape can learn Aerial Ace. How interesting. Alright, my TMs are kind of garbage anyway. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 
All right, things are looking good. Swablu, you have only a couple more levels. Bronzor, a couple levels, and Zubat, a couple levels. So we should be all set and ready to go to this next area. We have our defog. We don't have to worry about that nonsense. So anyway, thanks for sticking around. Yeah, teach it Hyper Beam. Mm-hmm. Ah, good water. Feels good to drink that. All right, you ready? Let's go, man. Here we go. Welcome back everyone. It's Abdallah with more Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. We are continuing our 100% walkthrough of the game. Uh, things are going pretty well for us. We just recently got the Defog ability, which is right in the Great Marsh. Honestly, I didn't do anything in the Great Marsh. We legitimately skipped that. So there's that. So let's just continue on with the story mode. Maybe I'll go to the Great Marsh later. We got to go to Celestic Town. So that being said, let's see where it takes us. Okay, so we went to Celestic, well, we almost made it to Celestic Town. We cured the Psyducks of their issues, which was good. Uh, I am going to use some Max Repels because I don't want to mess around with any of these Pokemon in the grass. I want to get out of here. So let's see this really quick. I'm gonna take this right here. Oh, a super repel. The game's like, yo, dude, this, this grass is pretty intense. It's like the caves in Generation 1 where you take his two steps and you find a Zubat. So, yeah, let's not do that. I am going to use another one. Cool, cool. All right, we're going to open this up. I'm going to use Defog. Star Raptor. Whoa, whose Star Raptor is that? Boom, blown away all of that. Cool. I didn't even know that rock was here. That's a person. Oh, gosh. Okay, that was kind of scary. We're back. Cool. Oh, my God. These two twins? Did we knock these two out? Oh, I didn't. I didn't knock this out. This is Jen here. Or, oh, both of them? Oh, my favorite avatars. I love these guys. She even, like does her hair. Oh my gosh, look at these two. Raichu? Uh, this is not good. This is, uh, very, very scary. Uh, we're going to... I'm gonna Dragon Breath. Actually, I'm gonna attempt to sing on the Raichu. I'm just gonna attempt it. And then we're gonna spark the, uh, Gyarados. That thing's gone, man. That's a goner. A hundred percent it's out of here. You're not surviving that. I'm going to attempt to sing. I don't want to get electric shocked or anything like that. Light screen. Cool. Goodbye. All right, great. Oh, you only have one Pokemon. That's awesome. I'm going to still attempt to sing again. I don't want to bite this thing. andy has got light screen, so this is going to actually hurt a lot. So I'm going to Volt Switch out. Yeah, he's got light screen up, so not only is it half damage because it's not very effective, but it's even more half damage uh, simply because it's uh, light screen, which is, light screen is amazing now. So quarter damage on that. Thunderbolt! Oh my gosh, ouch! Whoa, hey now, look at that, I missed two sings in a row, this is terrible. I don't like this, man. I need to, I need to just CC this guy and get out of here, man. I'm done. I don't care if I get paralyzed. That thing just straight up thunderbolted my baby bird. You dare. Yo, this Zubat is growing, man. <laughs> Yo, Jen and Zach, get out of here. My favorite NPC. I love her design. And he's actually pretty cool, too. Look at that cool fanny pack. 26,000 polka dollars for beating those two clowns. Can you believe it? All right. That was intense, man. Swablu, good job. Way to wear that amulet coin and, and take that money from these guys. So we honestly were walking over here. Could I bike this? Whoa! <laughs> no way. Can you imagine doing that as a real-life human? 
Having that balance to go across that very narrow path, never. Dust Tox, good luck. All right, come on, Swablu. You are gonna help me win this game. Dude, that's not nearly enough. Okay, okay, okay. We're obviously gonna be here for a long time if he's gonna leech life me like that. So I'm out. I'm out, man. Good job, congratulations. You've done well, Dust Tox. Leech life is so good. I remember Leech Life used to be this pitiful little bug move, and then it got buffed in the like the last generation, and it's like so strong now, which is so fun. I like that a lot. Good. Wow. Why did I get 900 versus 833? You get more for KOing the Pokemon? What is this? What are these maths? What are these maths? Plural. I don't know. But anyway, we beat up this kid. See you later, Infernip, as I push him off. Shadow Ball? Hello? That's great. That's how you get Shadow Ball in the game. Check that out, man. And if you didn't have defog, you wouldn't be able to see this. Like, at all. We made it all the way over here. Yeah, I'll use another Max Rebel. We made it all the way over here with the- oh my gosh. With the, the light completely fogged. Alright, Ninja Boy Nathan. Look at this little kid. Krogunk? Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything for him. Play rough. I mean, that's strong, but I mean, I'll, I'll try it. Okay, okay, I can win. Ow. I gotta win with play rough, provided that I don't miss it. Two twenty. Good. 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 Luxray thirty-seven. Gold bat. Okay, here we go. I will absolutely not waste my my TM for Shadow Ball and give it to some random, unbred, un -EV trained Pokemon. Absolutely not. That's so funny. Um, yeah, anyway. So I'm just more curious of how you're getting more than these TMs. If there's a TM shop at the end of the game, that's what needs to be the equation here. Because if there's only one Shadow Ball TM in the game, like, come on, man. I don't know. I still don't like that at all. Bum, ba bum, ba bum, bum, bum. Hello, monkey. Out of the way! Move! Stop. I'm trying to pick this up. Stop talking to me! Dude, I'm not talking to you. This is dumb. Out of way! Oh. Help me, Arceus, help me with this monkey. I'm surprised you were talking to him. Like, no, I'm not talking to you. Oh my gosh, what a joke. Get that monkey out of here. What are the- who's this guy? Veteran Brian? Nice pants, man. Alright, Swablu. It blinks slowly at me. Alright, we're gonna go two play roughs. Aqua Jet? Come on, I'm not a dragon type to resist that. That hurt, man. What you growling? What you growling for? Get out of here. I needed my attack stat. Girafferig? I'll keep my Pokemon in. But Girafferig is, is... It's a pretty interesting Pokemon. I remember when, I remember when that Pokemon uh, first was released. That's a Generation 2 Pokemon, isn't it? I was like, oh, what is this cool Pokemon? The typing was interesting, right? Isn't it like Psychic Normal? 
Something weird. I'm just gonna bite it. Ow! Just gonna bite it. And get all of my health back. Wow, Shell Bell's so good. Yikes. Yo, this Kaza is looking like he's trying to learn some moves over here. Machoke, I will go into Swablu, and I'll use a Play Rough. And hopefully knock out a Machoke with a baby bird. Here it comes, here it comes, big Machoke. Get choked out of this Play Rough, super effective. Dunk, not enough. Did I just loot? Lose? Oh my gosh. Amulet coin? I needed that. Good, and I didn't miss either. This is perfect. This little baby bird's doing some work. Mm, 545. You're almost there, man. Keep going. Alright, Brian. Good to meet you. Thank you for the money. I'm going to heal my Pokemon now. Brian. Don't call me Brain. Here is a Super Potion. Enjoy that. I just need this Altaria, like, now. Okay, Celestic Town, we made it! I'm gonna eat all these berries, thank you so much. Aguav Berries. No, I'm not looking at planting anything. Citrus Berries, though, may I? Oh, Citrus Berry's amazing. You know how, like, Orin Berry gives you, like, 10 HP? Whenever your HP is low, yeah, Citrus Berry gives you like a percentage of HP, which is really good. Yeah, that, that's astronomically better. All right, we made it to Celestic Town. Let's quickly heal up, and then we're going to go find uh, Cynthia's grandma. If we find Cynthia's grandma, we got to deliver the package. And then they were also saying that uh, the Grunt was going to be planting something in some sort of ruins. I don't know what that's all about, but hopefully we can find out. All right, nothing to see besides ancient sketches in these ruins. All right, to grandmother's house we go. Hello, grandma. There's an odd spaceman in front of the ruins. There isn't anything there, but he only seemed, it, that only seemed to make him angry. He said he will blow up, up the town with a bomb. The nerve of it all. If only I were younger, I would punish that spaceman with my Pokemon. Okay. Blow up the town with a bomb? Wow, what a threat, huh? This town is insignificant. There's nothing of value here. It doesn't need to exist, so I'll blow it up with a galactic bomb. If you try to mess with me, I'll shut you down in a Pokemon battle. So what's it gonna be? You gonna mess with me? Uh, no, man. You dare oppose Team Galactic? That means you're taking on the world. No, the universe, even. So this guy's a straight-up terrorist that's just gonna blow up a town? How does that even make sense? Okay, this is getting out of, ha out of hand, man. Team Galactic, I was all for these guys, right? Finding renewable energy, doing research into Pokemon energies, all that cool stuff. But now, dude, look at them. Now they're just a bunch of street thugs threatening to blow up Granny's town. I don't like that one bit. Don't you drain my energy. That's right, min-max damage on that roll. That was really good. Yeah, spacemen are pretty bad. Krogunk. Oh, I'm in for it. Yeah, let's go play rough. Ooh, revenge on a fallen teammate. That's real. Oh, and a sucker punch. Wow, look at you one-two punch combo. Dang, this guy is going to blow me up. Whew. 250. Come on, man. All right, so I just got worked over, and by a kid, no less. Too much to handle. Whatever, I'm out of this one-horse town. There's nothing to do here anyways. Granny? That you? Why well, aren't you quite the trainer? That was magnificent. As the elder of Celestic Town, I give you my thanks. Oh, that old charm. May I see that, dear? What's that? You say Cynthia entrusted you with it to deliver to me? That's Cynthia. She's my granddaughter. Oh, there we go. Well, enjoy. How'd you know I had it? This old charm is something made in Celestic Town long, long ago. 
It was made in honor of a mythical deity said to have created Sinnoh. These old charms are still discovered now again. Uh, since you're in Celestic Town, why not look inside the ruins? Oh, sure. Whoa. Whoa, look at these ruins. Oh, cool. You examine the ancient cave painting. Oh, mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. There are three strange things forming a triangle, and the middle of them is a shining sphere. What's this all about? The cave painting reminds me of an old story. There existed a being, it being so powerful, it was considered a deity at the time. Opposing this being were three, uh, three Pokemon. The three kept balance with the one as if they formed a triangle. It's an ancient legend of Sin Sinnoh that is still told to this day in Celestic Town. Oh yeah, I found something useful. You should take these. They belong to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. Thanks. What are they? Surf! Oh, surf! Yay! Okay, cool. Uh, I like that. My granddaughter said something about... What was it? Oh yeah, you can surf from your Pokatch to cross water and seas. Use that hidden move in the field, however. You must uh, obtain the Heart Home Gym Bag. When am I getting the strength, the ability to use strength, man? Like, I've been holding on to strength for a long time. I forget who gives it to us. Anyway, this is super cool. Oh, hello there, mysterious man that we met at Mount Coronet earlier. There appears to have been an insignificant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Yes, a bigger perspective. One that is on a universal scale. My name is Cyrus. I seek the power to create a new world. A world without strife. However, that power seems to be unavailable here. We met before, yes? It was at Mount Coronet. If you discover any power derived from the Legends of Sinnoh, inform me. For that power is what I need to create my new world. Okay. Hi. Nice to meet you, buddy. Uh, yeah, I guess that's the thing. Hey, Cyrus. We're friends now. See, like, we're on a first-name basis. Ugh. Cyrus and I, we're on a first-name basis. That's great. Hey, do you know what they say? They say a Pokemon created the Sinnoh region. Yeah, which Pokemon? Hello. Hi, Happiny. Hello. I must bear down and train, for that time is unimportant. Therefore, I have no need for a watch. Take this from me. Analog watch. Cool, I can see what time it is. Great. You got the analog, analog watch. Analog, analog watch. Yeah, analog watch. What is this? There's no Pokemart. Instead, you can buy and sell items in the house right next to me. Uh, this one? Hello! Putting a pair of glasses changes how the world looks. Uh, taking off a pair changes how the world looks too. Deep, man. So would you like to change how the world looks to your Pokemon? Black glasses, cool. Squirtle Squad over here. Alright. Raises the power of dark type moves. Yes, it does. Uh, what am I buying? Grandma, what you got? Great balls? I'll buy ten great balls. Here we go. Uh, Super Potion, revives, don't need it. Thank you for the Premier Ball. Love it, love it, love it. Repel, uh, I think we're good. Thank you. Thank you, Grandma. How about you, Grandpa? What else do you buy? Oh, yes! Quick Balls! Great! Great! I love this! Thank you. I'll buy 10 of them for 10,000 bucks. Thank you so much. Uh, and we will never... I'll, I'll take a couple Dusk Balls. I'll take four of them, please. Ah, no! Uh, timer Ball? No. Yo, quick balls are great, man. You just toss a quick ball first turn, and you win. Yo, that's the biggest flex ever, right? That's what the cool kids do. When it comes to a legendary Pokemon, they throw a quick ball first turn, and they flex. And they say, oh my gosh, I got the legendary on my first try with a quick ball. I'm cool. <laughs> Don't ever do that. Thank you. All right, great. You can use Surf every time. Great, great, great. My sister's studying. Uh huh. Cool, cool. Thank you, thank you so much. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Focus on your research. Don't ever throw a quick 
Quick ball on your first turn against a legendary Pokemon, please don't. Don't use your Master Ball either, thanks. Alright, did I talk to these two? I don't know if I did. How do you guys deal with the Master Balls in your Pokemon Adventures? Uh, typically you only get one. Do you hold on to it in your pocket and never use it and keep it as a trophy? Or do you guys just toss it at like the legendary and you're done? What do you guys do with them? All right, so there's really nothing else going on over here. I cannot slide down that way. There's a little baby shop over here. Celestic Town is done. I'm gonna rob them of all their berries really quick. Ah, uh -huh. here we go. That's right. See, that's Big Brain. Like, Big Brain uh, Pokemon Trainer would hold on to the Master Ball until they find, like, a random shiny. You're like, oh my gosh, I need to catch this thing, right? That's 100% Big Brain. Um, yeah. It's really Big Brain. If you use it for a legendary Pokemon, you're wasting it, man. Don't do it. Be better than that. Catch the legendary Pokemon with a Premier Ball. It's a challenge. I'm gonna be doing it. If I can do it, you can do it. All right, here we go. It's time, Catherine. We're gonna show all of the viewers the power of holding on to your Master Ball and never using it. Okay, uh, this guy. I don't. I didn't heal. I didn't heal at all. So we're just gonna go Luxray and then go from there. Okay, so now that we've gone, oh, oh yeah, we gotta go to Heart Home. You know what, I think in the next couple minutes, we can go to Heart Home and just like honestly finish it out. We can finish off the episode by beating up Fantina. Fantine. Zubat, Zubat. Imagine if you found, like, a shiny Pokemon that has the ability to self-destruct or KO itself, and then it KOs itself. <gasps> oh my gosh! Yes! It's time! We need you! My little baby burb! I love this bird. Come into a big fluffy bird now. Wee! Swablu evolved into Altaria. Great. Now let's take a look at these beautiful stats, shall we? Dragon Pulse. Um, as much as I love Dragon Pulse, I like my move set right now. So it's a tough one, man. I don't need Sing. That's for sure, for sure. Dragon Pulse is good. It's 85. It's very powerful. I'm Dragon Flying now. I'm never gonna use Sing. There's. I'm gonna be so frustrated with Sing. The accuracy is just atrocious, so no, we're not going to do that. Although, Sleep and Fall Swipe is the best combination. Oh my gosh, it's a double evolution. Holy moly. Woo boy. It's a double evolution. How do we get Crobat? There's a way of getting Crobat in this game, right? Uh, once it starts sucking blood, it does not stop until it's full. It flies at night in search of its prey. Ooh. Dang, that was a cool evolution! Alright, so Golbatsky, you can go away for now. Um, one of you guys said Wingle is a good catch, right? Yeah, Wingle. Wingle is a good, easy level up. Um, I do want to take a look at Altaria now. So check summary for Altaria is really good what is this pokedex number question mark question mark oh okay speed special defense up 60 attack i mean you're not going to but your defense is great i love that um yeah yeah this is good 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 very bulky very bulky pokemon i think the most bulky um pokemon on the team with special defense goes yeah yeah sure sure that, that's good all right, all right. Double evolution, good timing. Okay, I don't have rock uh, climb. I don't have rock climb. So we're gonna get out of here. I think it's time for me to leave. Ninja man.
Do I even go this way? I... Where am I going? I gotta go to Heart Home and get Surf. What is this? Oh, is this Corona Mountain? What is this? <laughs> Where's Corona Mountain from? Mount Coronet. I don't have... I don't, I don't think I'm ready for this. Give me this. Yeah, I don't have I don't have strength. Okay, so I'm I'm not ready for Mount Coronet. So let's get out of here. There's only five minutes left of this episode. Oh man, we might as well beat up these dudes. All right, I'll just beat up these dudes. I thought we were gonna have time for Fantina, but I don't think so. So let's just beat up Ninja Boy Nick and his two buddies right outside here, and we'll we'll be good. Golbat needs friendship to evolve into Crobat? Ew, I don't want to do that. Who's got time for that? No way, man. And I already used the Massage Lady for the day. No thank you. Speaking of Golbat and a Crobat... No, I'm done. Dragon Pulse is trashing these guys. How did the- how did- did I lose? What is going on? This better have 100% accuracy. Good. Natural cure yourself already! Ninja Boy Nick, man. Slick Nick over here. Little kid. Wow, completely poisoned. Did not get that, um, get that thing off of me. Here's an antidote. Okay, uh, let's go... Wow, I'm gonna have to use a couple super potions to get back up. Oh, one's fine. Okay, deal. Alright, we're gonna ta uh, take care of this dude. You spot a trainer, and we're gonna take care of the other dude, and we're gonna get Altaria up and running. And we need to use Altaria against these upcoming Pokemon. And I am very excited. We're gonna get the... What is that? The legendary Pokemon? Okay, this is a hard counter, man. I can't, I can't deal with this hard counter right now. He's a Steel type. That's a three hit KO. And that's a crit. No, it's like a five hit. Ow! Euro Ball. <laughs> Yo, Euro Ball, man. I love you. I was gonna order a Euro through DoorDash today. But I said I wanted sushi, so I went with sushi instead. What did I. You confused me? Okay, that's confusing in and of itself. Oh, and I got a love crit? That's cool. I haven't seen any, like, love additions in this game, but apparently that's a thing. Cool. Harry! Thanks, Harry. Hello, kid. I'm strong, I'm strong, I'm strong. You keep telling yourself that. Am I really? No, I'm strong, I'm strong. Oh, okay, I'm good to go. Um, I... Oh, gosh! I thought you were gonna battle me. Okay, that's good. 77s. Perfect. Uh-huh, your Pokemon, you psych up. Cool. Great. I thought you were going to do something else over here. Uh, yeah, I need to go. Let's go to Celestic Town. You, fight me. Did I get poisoned? Am I all healed? Yeah, Altaria's got some work to do. Altaria's got some work in Celestic Town. Black Belt Scene. Yo, come here, Scene. Seen, seen, seen! Boom! Wow, you know what? Dragon Pulse is strong! And it's same type attack bonus. It's so good. Alright, I think we have a good, solid team here. And our team consists of... <laughs> Ooh, like two Pokemon, man. It's, it's pretty rough. Boom! 
Yo, we're running mixed attacker Altaria here. That's not a lot of experience. 225? What's going on, man? Scene is jumping out. What you know about Scene? You think it's pronounced Sean? Yeah, right, man. I can phonetically spell. <laughs> yes, yes, I gotta rise out of one person. Mission accomplished. Alright, let's go, man. Here we go. That was good. Alright, so we kind of went this way. Everything's leading to Mount Coronet. Coronet. Everything's leading to Mount Coronet. And since it's leading to Mount Coronet, like, it's just, that's where you gotta go, man. That's where you gotta go. What's up, old man? Uh, setting up on local history? No, I'm not. But we're done with the area. At any given time, we can go to Heart Home. So why don't we just fly over there now? I still don't have access to using Strength or Surf, so I just have to win more gym badges. And I love that there's a little um, flag here, too. So we're going to go over here. Heart Home City is going to be our first our first destination on the next episode. I think that since we're here, we can go beat up Fantina. I'll use my dragon, who is going to be very, very strong. Uh, and should be able to plow through anything that Fantina has going on. Um, I mean, is it the best moveset? No. Will Dragon Pulse carry us? Probably. And do I have other Pokemon in the wings, such as Bite from Luxray, and potentially a Psychic move from our Psychic-type Kadabra? Got a lot of things happening, man. But I really should find a way of trading out our Pokemon, right? Like, this Kazaa is just so strong. What is this thing? Did we get a Modest? We got a Quiet one. Okay, Quiet one is plus special attack, man. It's insane. It's not the best nature, but he's actually really, really good. Um, what's the nature of our other guys? Yeah, yeah, this one's decent. I mean, he's a mixed attacker. This one's not that good. Um, he's not that fast. But plus special defense is going to be great. Especially against cap capturing all the legendary Pokemon. Uh, Azelf, Mesprit, Yuxi. Palkia is going to be hard if it's going to be using Spatial Rend. That's super effective damage, and I can't deal with that. So, I don't know how we're going to do that one. Wingle, we're just Pokedex fodder. And then Bronzor is Pokedex fodder as well. So, honestly, it doesn't even matter. But yeah, our team is pretty good. I like all four of these guys. And they're pretty cool. So, anyway, uh, that one's going to be it. I should actually save the game, right? How do I do that? You press the R button to save the game. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Playtime. Playtime's over. 11 and a half hours, man. That's great. We're 11 and a half hours into the game. There's still a lot more. I think we're right around the halfway point of the main story. So we got some more work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So definitely stay tuned for even more. Ugh. Okay, well, that's going to be it for part four live stream. What do we think? You guys uh, in the mood for another one? I just want to keep on playing, man. This game's so cool. All right, what are you thinking? Jacob, Akemi, Mark, Danielle, A Slayer, Lovemore, Laney, Pika Gamer, Ashley, Alana, Kaneki, Ken. You guys want to do some more? Not on this stream. We're gonna. I'm gonna take a quick breather. I'm probably gonna go finish the leftover sushi of mine in like half an hour, and then we'll jump into another one. And then we've done five live streams that were like two and a half hours long. Is that cool? You guys want to do it? It's Christina's bedtime. What you mean bedtime? It's the weekend. Oh wait, it's not the weekend yet. Ah, yeah, I think that'd be good. I'm down. If you guys are down, like I'm just gonna go take like a quick half an hour break and uh, get ready for this. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm totally in for it. Uh, 9 p.m. Ooh, let's try like 9.15 my time. That way it'll be a nice little like half an hour. I think that'd be perfect. Deal? Deal. 9.15, public. Done. Part five. Ooh, look at me getting part five all ready to go. All right, come on over here. Click on this link in the chat right now for me. Please do it. 
all of you guys that are chilling, all of you guys that are waiting, let me redirect everyone over there just to ensure that uh, you guys all come and find the live stream okay. So here we go, customization, we're gonna go a little bit of redirect. Have the redirects been working okay? I need that feedback. At the very end of the video, once I like click on done streaming, does it like give you a little count on timer and like push you over to the next stream? Has that worked out for you? Give me some feedback on that. Zubats evolution level as I look that up, right? Dude, we've been streaming all day. Ooh boy. Ooh boy. Anyway, um, I do want to say thanks to all of you that have helped out with the plushie that we're doing. I don't know if I've uh, mentioned it, but usually between the episodes of recordings and whatnot, um, we just knock out a little bit of advert for our very cute plushie. Make sure you get one. He's so cute. How could you not? Look at this face. How can you deny this face? It's a cute little guy. He's got a pretty cool t-shirt underneath too. Bam, bam. Look at that. It's a cool little logo. What do you know about it? All right, I think it's gonna be a fun time. Anyway, uh, shout out to the peeps that uh, helped one helped get them. Rainbow94 and Ali Chan, uh, five hours ago. Rainbow94, four hours ago. Yo, who's gonna get us to 450? I know there's 11 of you guys that haven't gotten one of these, so let's go. Yo, Melissa, Matthew, I'm looking at you guys. Ashley got 10 of them, right? <laughs> Little Kuma, did you guys get one yet? I'm looking at you. Anyway, while you're getting some stuff, we got some cool new merch designs. Uh, this is the Mystery of Legend long sleeve tee. Uh, we got the Mystery of Legend poster, which is gonna be looking real cool. Um, and you can see if you can solve the cipher that's in the background over there. No idea how you're gonna do it, but tons of merch. If you guys want a coupon code, use Pearl10 at checkout. Uh, but other than that, let's jump into this one. Oh, this is me over here. Did I put the wrong link? I think I did, oops. Did I put the wrong link in chat? Here we go, let's go to the different one. I gotta give you the right link. Here we go. The right link is right here. Let me see really quick. Bing, bing, boom, boom. Yeah, there we go. That's part five. Here you go. Whee! What you know about it, man? <laughs> what was on my clipboard before? Look, you guys found this, found this stream without me even copy-pasting it. You guys are so smart. Look at all these smart people, like Mark. <laughs> Mark, Mark, Mark. D Retro, Slitherpuff, Love Mora, Mahachi, uh, Kalfa Gamer, Pika Gamer, Brendan, Alana, Lady, Little Kuma, who else is here? Caroline, Anna, SS16 Song K, Kaneki, Tyler, Rufus. Yo, even Rufus made it. Yo, Sherry's here too. Of course, Sherry's here. Good to see you. Mariano, good to see you. What up? Crystal, hey! Long time to see. What's going on? Brady, Amanda. All right, all the cool people are hanging out over here. Um, join me in about 45 minutes or so. We're going to jump up to a brand new episode. I'm going to rest my eyes a little bit. I'll try not to take a nap. But we got one more live stream for the day. Then I'm going to go to bed and we're going to start it bright and early tomorrow morning. We're going to beat this game this weekend. It's going to be great. Anyway, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, shout outs to the mods, shout outs to the uh, chapter team, shout outs to all of you guys that dropped super chats, and uh, yeah, all of our members. Thank you. Thanks for everything. You guys are the best. All right. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in a little bit. Redirecting now. Should be good. Take care. <laughs>